Hello. Hello. And welcome to Let's, Let's Talk, talk about, about Book, where we talk about book. book. Uh, I'm Smivka. And I'm Strawberry. And we're currently reading Well of Ascension by yeah. Brandon Sanderson. And uh, we just read chapters 27 through 33. Yep. So over more than, halfway. Mm-hmm. More than last time. <laughs> last couple times, it was only like four chapters yeah, each because yeah. we like split it up. Uh, but this time, it's maybe going to be a longer one, yeah. or it'll be two episodes yep. again, <laughs> depending. We'll, we'll see. <laughs> we'll see. Uh, if you know, if if the video. It's like almost three hours long, or like a little over an hour long. Well, it's like if the video title says a different ah. set of chapters than what we just yes. said, then you'll know. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> or, or, or I'll like edit in a little bit of me saying, "Hey, we actually did these chapters <laughs> in the future," depending. Yeah. Uh, but yeah. Um, and we're re- recording a little uh, sooner. Uh, mm-hmm. Than, than we have been because because yeah. we, we've been real bad about just like recording like right before putting yeah. videos out and that's why like various ones have been late and yep. off and stuff yep. like that so we're trying to record this one is like a little bit more timely manner yeah uh and and hoping to sort of get get back on uh... get back on doing them a bit more regularly yep. you know like if we can kind of do them each weekend yep, and then yep. have them come out every other week then yeah, you can yeah, get yeah. ahead yep. but you know yep. we've been we've so been. then if there's a weekend that uh, just doesn't happen that it doesn't mm-hmm. get behind or whatever yeah it doesn't get so so bad yep yep but but this was this was a good a good section there was a lot <laughs> i have not skimmed through this so we're going to mainly go off of your notes and i'll yep. kind of be uh, following mm-hmm. along and if there's something that i see that i want to right shout out um but Mm -hmm. yeah Yeah, this was this was quite the selection of of chapters (laughs) like like there was like a couple times where i'm like we could like stop (laughs) here and this would be like a little cliffhanger portion um but yeah so let's get into the the epigraphs yeah so the first one before uh chapter 27 he was no simple soldier he was a force of leadership a man that fate itself seemed to support Mm mm-hmm and then we get. I mean, you know, there, there, there's there, there's your blanket, um, Dragon Reborn yep. in there, yeah, but yeah, but yeah, there's yeah. like a, like some specific yeah. ones in here that really make me think of it. Uh, he left a ruin in his wake, but it was forgotten. He created kingdoms and then destroyed them as he made the world anew. Mm-hmm. Making the world anew. That because see, it's like it, it's interesting because it's like there's all this like upheaval that like happened pre Elendi actually becoming the Lord Ruler, right? Where it's like uh, not Elendi. I got you. I, I knew I knew you meant I knew what uh, you meant. It's alright. <laughs> it's like Rashik becomes the Lord Ruler. Yeah. And does all this shit. But like the world had already sort of been upended by Elendi, actually. Yeah. Yeah, before yeah, yeah. that yeah. point. And like the deepness question mark? Right. And and so it's like what's so I'm kind of curious about that, like, you know, like, in my head, it's just, like, it was Rand. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Like, just insert the events of Wheel of Time <laughs> right before this moment, you know? This is, like... <laughs> oh, no. Okay, so Alendi's Rand and then gets, uh... Uh-huh. Gets taken over by, by Rashik. Yeah. Well, it's, like, Rashik, I guess, in this case, would be, like, I don't know, fucking, uh... I went again, lose Theron, you know. Mm. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What is his name? <laughs> What's his name? Oh, like, um, well, that d- that depends on when in Wheel of Time. Uh, yeah, but just any of them. <laughs> Baal Zaman is one. Baal Zaman. Uh, um. Well, it's, it's. It, Ishi. Yes, Ishi, yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, fucking, you know, Ishamael. Yeah, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the, you know, betrayer of yep. hope or yep. whatever. Yeah, the fuck, yeah, yeah, you yeah. know, Mr. Mis- Mr. Top Dog <laughs> Evil Man. <laughs> um, fucking Ishamael comes in. I mean, here's the thing. At this point, it's like, uh, this isn't a Wheel of Time podcast. 
so it's like sorry if you get like incidental wheel of time right, right. spoilers but also a lot of times it's so like disconnected or just like yeah 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 because because it's like because Shamael is what I was looking for. Yep. That's the name that I was gotcha. trying to think of. Um, mm-hmm. You know, fucking because because he's the one who's yeah, like yeah, yeah. you know, uh, you know, sort sort of thinks of himself as top dog yep. among the yeah, yeah, yeah. whatever they call themselves. And dark has, friends. Yeah. <laughs> well, they're they're not dark friends. They're not they're, dark friends. They're the, they're, they're, they're the chosen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're, slash they're the, forsaken. They're more than dark friends. <laughs> uh, the dark friend social. <laughs> yep, dark friend social. I love it. Yep, um, it's been it's been too long. I need to I need to finish. Yeah, we love time, but also not while we're doing this. <laughs> and, and, you know, um, but like I do need to at least finish that one book. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, yeah. I was so close. But anyway, the the, the 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 it's really funny like that you ended where you ended in that book. Mm-hmm. Yeah, oh, just, I'm sure. Just saying. I'm sure. Um, <laughs> She's at the end of book seven. Mm-hmm. Like, uh, they're like f- following them into like Abu Dhabi and stuff, right? Uh, sure. I'm so like it's been a yeah. while. I don't remember the names. But anyway, it doesn't matter. Yeah, 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 yeah. Next one before chapter twenty nine. We're still doing epigraphs. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Um, there were other proofs to connect Alendi to the hero of ages. Smaller things, things that only one trained in the lore of the anticipation would have noticed. The birthmark on his arm, the way his hair turned gray when he was barely 20 and five years of age, the way he spoke, the way he treated people, the way he ruled, he simply seemed to fit. Yeah, and, and that's interesting, like, the, the birthmark on his arm makes me think of the, the dragon marks yeah. on, on Rand, because, you know, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah, and then I'm gonna do the next one. Mm-hmm. But I must continue with the sparsest of detail. Space is limited. The other world bringers must have thought themselves humble when they came to me, admitting that they had been wrong about Alendi. Even then, I was beginning to doubt my original declaration. However, I was prideful. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yep, and it's interesting, because, like, throughout this bit, we get, like, uh, a bit more on that. Yep. In the end, my pride may have doomed us all. Isn't that, like, a line from Alendi's journal in the first book? It may have been. Like... I, I I think you may be right. Because I think Alendi says, like, I fear my pride may have doomed us all or something yeah. like that. Like, I think he has, like, a very similar sort of, like, line, if not, like... Like, not exactly mm. the same, but, like, a very similar sort of line in, in book one. Um, I had never received much attention from my brethren. They thought that my work and my interests were unsuitable to a world bringer. They couldn't see how my studies, which focused on nature instead of religion, benefited the people of the 14 lands. <laughs> which is funny, like, hearing back in book one that Lundy's like, he's trying to see if trees could think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> which is funny. <laughs> uh, As the one who found Lundy, however, I became someone important, foremost among the world bringers. Right. And then the last one. There was a place for me in the lore of the anticipation. I thought myself the announcer, the prophet foretold to discover the hero of ages. Renouncing Elendi, then, would have been to renounce my new position, my acceptance by the others. And so I did not. Yep. Yeah, and it's interesting. It gives some sort of, like, context as to, like, the Quan and what he was, like, thinking and why he sort of did what he did. Yep. Yeah. But yeah, that's that's the, the epigraphs. Yeah. And so we move on to the chapters yes. with chapter 27. Yep. So Straff. Yeah. Uh, We're starting back with, uh, in the, it, basically in the meeting. Yes, because uh, at the end of the last thing it was like Straff and uh, Ellen are sort of alone. Yeah, like, they send, like, Vin and everyone else out. Mm-hmm. Uh, to, like, talk on their own, and they had just sort of had this, like, conversation where it's, like, you know, the whole playing up the weakness. Yes. And, like, yeah, oh, yeah. we don't have the ATM. Oh, yeah. we do. And, 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 yeah, you know. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and how I, I gave such a clear and succinct, <laughs> uh, you know, I was taking minutes, and those were my notes uh, <laughs> at the meeting. <laughs> Uh, but Straff claims to have, uh, some sort of alliance with Set. Yes. He's like, oh, you know, um, I've already talked with Set. What do you think that I've been doing? And it's like, 
because uh, Ellen's trying to propose some sort of truce, and it's like, no, I don't think I will. Yeah. Um, and I have, uh, this is fun to hear Ellen, like, pressure Straff. Yes, yeah, because he starts by, like, really trying to play up the weakness, and mm-hmm. is like, uh, it's just, like, it's just one city, like, mm-hmm. can't you just, like, let me have this? Well, why don't, why can't you just let me fight Set and, like, well, yeah, prove myself, you know, like, those yes, types like, of things Yes, like, secure first. my legacy and, you yeah. know, defeat Set or whatever, and then you can just, like, have the city. Yeah. But, but also you have this whole thing, it's like, listen, you can't just, like kill me yep. and take the city yep. like because if you do then you're gonna get you know beaten by set and it's like no i have a truce with yep. set and it's like no you don't yeah. yeah yeah he's like i think that this is just a bluff like internally yep. he thinks that i don't like, yep. he doesn't just like say that yeah he yeah he thinks like you know it's like i think that he's just like you know because he wouldn't work with set because yeah. because that's too like close in power yeah, yeah, right yeah. now it's like you know he wouldn't like agree to some sort of like he's like oh he just wants because like said just wants the atm yeah. he doesn't want the the city or whatever and we'll you know uh he, he says has this whole thing with, like how they're gonna like rule or whatever yeah. and and ellen's like that that doesn't sound yeah. like like straff that like you know that they would like agree to this sort of thing it's like he needs to be in like complete yeah. control and, and so it's like he wouldn't have this kind of alliance with set probably um, do you think that's the case? Do you think he's bluffing? Uh, I, I, I don't know. Um, well, cause, like, we, we find out later some of, like, the stuff that, like, Straff knows, because that's, we have, like, yeah, a little, yeah. you know, sort of, like, after this meeting, we do have a little, like, scene and, like, Straff's, yeah. like, perspective. We'll, we'll get to that then. Yeah, it's like, we'll sort of get to that. Um, but, uh, I have, sh- maybe Straff actually knows where the ATM is, but it's like, no, that doesn't make sense. Um, cause it's like, you know, he, he is the one who was like supplying it. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, it's like, maybe yeah. he, cause it's like. Cause they ran the pits. Mm-hmm. Cause there's this whole thing where it's like, throughout the meeting, it's like, he's saying these things and Straff is like, no, it's gotta be this way. And yeah. I'm like, why is, like, he's so insistent. Like, why, what does he know that we don't? Yeah. I'm like, Straff knows something that we don't. Um. <laughs> and then I have Vin assassination time question mark exclamation yeah. point because he's like no I'm just gonna like kill you Chef's like, I, yeah. like you you came here and yeah. I'm just gonna kill you and then like you know you're yeah. stupid you, you, you were never gonna uh, let me leave here alive were you mm-hmm. it's like <laughs> yeah and so then like Ellen has this moment where he's like fuck you yeah <laughs> not in those terms of course but he's like yeah he goes you you are a pig father a sick disgusting man you thought you were a brilliant leader but you were barely competent you nearly got our house destroyed only the lord ruler's own death saved you <laughs> yep I love that <laughs> yep he just starts like going off on him <laughs> and he's like this is great he's like I've never been able to do this and I'm having a time and mm-hmm. also, I've got my little assassin back there, so I'm don't have to be afraid. Right. Well, it's like he, he he's doing that, and then he starts like getting into like a different mindset. Yes. It's like, wait a second, I I like yep. Straff like, expected the weakness. Yes. He's always like, you know, he's always like crushing things. Yep. You know, so it's like, no, I need to like flip this. I need to go yes. another direction. And so it's like I need to make like a power play. And so he calls out to Vin. Yep. Yep. <laughs> And, and then, and I have Vin's doing it, which would, you know, imply based off of assassination time being my previous notes, <laughs> that she was assassinating people, yeah, but that's yeah. not what she does. She does this whole thing with his emotions. Yeah, it's, it's really cool. You caught her soothing you, and you called her on it. Then you didn't feel her t- the touch anymore, so you assumed that she was cowed. But after that, you began to feel confident, comfortable. You dismissed Vin as a threat. Uh, But when any rational man dismiss a mistborn, no matter how small or quiet, in fact, you'd think that the small, quiet ones would be the assassin you'd want to pay the most attention to. Vin smiled. Clever, she thought. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) At Nerdy Nightly. (laughs) (laughs) No, I early... Nerdy Daily. Yeah. Yeah. Well, but it's all in the nerdy. No, I know. Because yeah. <laughs> the thing is, is he's he's just nerdy. Yeah. Which is confusing. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's it's but you know, <laughs> um, we we we've been watching someone else's One Piece. Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 She's a VTuber and it's mm-hmm. it's fun. Yep. It, what's her, her name's like Alicia? Yeah. Something. I don't know. I don't remember what what her name is. Yeah, it's like Alicia, but there's like the the channel name is like 
something with that in it, but it's yeah. like, yeah, but anyway, she, she, she's like a VTuber who we've been watching and it's been a lot of fun because she's yep. very on the same wavelength. Yeah. Yeah. She's uh, having a ton of fun, but she's also like, you know, like analyzing it and having fun with the characters mm-hmm. and, and Cause, all that. Cause, cause it's like, for me, like watching sort of like reaction stuff, it's like sometimes when I watch a reaction thing, it feels a little too, the person just kind of sitting there going like, whoa, yeah. that was cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Yeah. And it's like, I'm sure they're, like, enjoying it and whatnot, but it's just like, they just don't have much to add yep. sometimes, I feel. Yeah, you gotta find people with, like, good presence and, mm-hmm. you know, stuff to say and... Right, and, and, you know, just, like, someone who's sort of, like, approaching it on, like, the same way. Because yep. some people are, like, you know, like, the action and, yeah. like, they get really into that sort of stuff, but they don't have as much to say about, like, necessarily, like, the thematic yep. components or whatnot, which is some of the stuff that, like, I'm super interested yep. in. So someone who's, like... Ooh, looking at the story from this, like, you know, like, from from my sort of English major yep. <laughs> perspective, I, I, I sort of appreciate. Um, but, but anyway, um, I, I cut you off in, in a quote to make a joke about <laughs> nerdy. Oh, I don't, I, I think I was talking, it was this little bit with, uh, mm-hmm. so then she just, so then Ellen just starts, like, basically naming emotions, mm-hmm. and is basically like, come on, catch on, Vin, and she does, and just... Uh, and, and she's, like, soothing and yeah, rioting. Fear. Mm-hmm. Uh, passion, she complied. Calmness. Mm-hmm. She soothed everything away. Uh, yeah. Yep, and then at one point, she, like, f- burns her Duralumin, and her, it soothes all of his emotions at once, just like... Boom. Yep. Just like a huge, um, wiping out all of his, like, emotions, and he, like, she, like, sees him, like, physically react. Yep. In the tent and stuff. Yep. But then also Zane's there. Yep. Zane's there whispering his Zane bullshit in her ear. Yeah, yep. First, there's this little, little bit from Ellen. She's powerful, Father. She's more powerful than any Alamancer you've known. She killed mm-hmm. the Lord Ruler. She was trained by the survivor of Hatsen, and if you kill me, she'll kill you. Yep. Yep, and and he's like, ah, you know, yeah. just like the what you know, talking about it being like a hollow threat or whatever. It's like you'll you'll still be dead. It's like I don't care. Yep. you know, my people will be safe. Well, yep. you know, uh, Strap actually does <laughs> c- yep. care about yep. about living in that sense <laughs> and has been sufficiently you know intimidated by Vin. But uh, but Zane's there whispering his bullshit about you know being used and all that sort of stuff. Yeah, it's like getting to her. Yeah, because he's he's pushing on like the conversation that's happening like right now. Right, and then you know, you know it's like the ways in which like oh he's you know you said that he wouldn't have you do like assassination stuff, but now he's all like oh kill Straff and all the generals and yep. all that sort yeah, of yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's like it's it's he's bluffing. It's you know it's yep. whatever. And, and 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 it's one of those things where it's like. And the thing is, is like Vin would do that though. Yeah. Like if Ellen, if, Bella, if Ellen asked, she would mm-hmm. do that, and I, I don't think she would feel bad about it. No. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So like. <laughs> mm-hmm. It's just like the kind of whispering that's causing her to even. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's just sort of like the framing yeah. of it, because it's one of those things where it's like the the reality of the situation. And this is, like, the conversation that, like, I want them to have, but that they haven't had. It's like, no, no, no. It's not that I'm, like, oh, I can, like, use Vin. It's that, like, I trust Vin. Yes. Right? It's, like, he trusts in your ability and in your, like, judgment and stuff like that. And so that's why he's, like, you know, like, (laughs) trusting that you're going to, like, catch on and, like, you know, it's, like, you're doing this together. Yeah. And, yeah, and, you yeah. know, it's, like, it's being framed as, like, you know, her being, like, used right now. But right. it's, it's, like, they're cooperating. Right. She helped plan this whole thing. Like, this, right. she's involved in every, mm-hmm. like, step of this. And, right. you know, like... <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. And, and it's also one of those things where it's, like, <laughs> in the moment I was, like... You know, like, Vin, he liked you back before he even knew that you were, like, a misborn. Yeah. So it's like, you know, don't, you know, you, you know, his, Zane's whole thing about, like, oh, he's only, does he love you or does he love that he can, yes. like, use you yeah. and all this sort of stuff. It's like, you gotta remember, and, and, and that does come up later. Yeah. Um, Vin, like, specifically, like, remembers that later. Yeah, yeah. And I'm like, yes, good. <laughs> um, which, you know, I yeah, think that's in, like, a future chapter. because in the moment there's a lot going on and, and stuff. And, right, yeah. you know, and, and it's like, um, they have, like, the carriage ride back. Yeah. And she's, like, being kind of, like, tense. Yeah. And, like, because she's had this whole, like, emotional thing and, and Alan doesn't really, like, know what's going on and know how to, like, react. Yeah, yeah. Um, 
But yeah, uh, so so it's like the threat works. Ellen's able to like leave. One more thing with Zane, she sees the scars on, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. on his arms, and it's like you were in the pits. Yeah, which is not what I thought. <laughs> when whenever whenever he, it was like oh there's like scars along his yeah. arm, I thought that that was just like a, yeah because we saw earlier that he, he was, like yeah, yeah, yeah cuts himself to keep himself from like hurting people hurting people and stuff so i thought that that's what it was yeah but then it's like oh no it's like a pits of hath thing which is interesting yeah um and also the, the, there's a bit in here where it's like looking up and seeing the stars yes um, uh lights shown in the sty uh, sorry <laughs> in the sty <laughs> um can he understand what it is to be one of us can he know the things that we know care about the things we love? Has he ever seen those? Zane gestured upwards towards the sky, far beyond the mists. Lights shone in the sky, like tiny freckles, stars, invisible to the normal eye. Only a person burning tin could penetrate the mists and see them shining. Yeah, and and, and so it's like, that is going to be a thing. Not not the stars specifically, but this sort of like, can he know yep. what it's like? Yep. Can yeah, he, yeah, like yeah. You're so like different. And I'm like, how fundamentally different does it make you that you've had the experience of seeing the stars yeah how yeah, fun yeah. like how and fundamentally he doesn't know ellen mm -hmm. like really yeah. like he does not know ellen and right. he doesn't know ben mm -hmm. like yep. he's to me he's projecting yeah like ev ev all of this is projecting on on to vin he's like right. another mistborn mm -hmm. oh um Straff's kid must be using mm -hmm. you like Straff uses me. You mm -hmm. know, like it's it's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh no, for sure. It, it's just one of those things where it's like it's when later we we get these like moments where Vin is sort of like thinking these things. Yeah. Like, you know, these sort of thoughts get into Vin's head, and she's like, you know, because it's like there's no it's like to like you know soar through the air yeah, and like yeah, yeah. you know on a coin or whatever and it's like how fundamentally different does that make you yeah, as a person yeah, yeah. To, to have experienced that right you know but it's like suddenly she has this like power and this ability and this capability but it's funny because it's like <laughs> <laughs> what your phone bixby i didn't i didn't even say your name <laughs> so why why did you do that um anyway it, it, it's funny to me because they're not coming at it from this perspective of like you know ellen doesn't know what it's like to have this kind of like power yeah to have this sort of like you know it's like this ability i mean there's a it's just like it's for some reason the, the fact they focus on these like sensory experiences of like soaring yep. and seeing the stars it's like it's evocative in a way but it's also like yeah but that's, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah you know so it doesn't make you that different I, yeah i think it's kind of a sense of like freedom mm -hmm. that they kind of both feel right in that and it's it's more of mm -hmm. kind of expressing that yeah I, I think you're just sort of like it doesn't immediately sort of like register yeah. for me you know it's one of those things where like in the moment i'm like hearing it and i'm like who cares yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and and i think there's like a certain level to which it's like yeah like th th that is part of it yeah but it is also sort of like i don't know i, I guess it's just like it's not phrased convincingly to me yeah yeah, yeah, yeah but yeah. but i've never been a mistborn so i can't <laughs> understand <laughs> um but yes yeah, so, it's so, so it's just sort of like I, like I get it, but yeah. also it's just not quite as like yeah, emotionally yeah, yeah. resonant to me, like in, in the moment per se. Yeah. Um. But uh. But yeah, and then and then they get to go off. Um. The Straff lets them go. Yeah. I love. I let them. I let him go. Why did I let him go? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yet even now he could feel her touch slamming against him, one emotion after another, like a treasonous maelstrom within him, and then nothing. Like a massive hand grabbing his soul and squeezing it into a pain into painful submission, it had felt uh, the way he thought death might. I love that. Yeah. I love that description of it feeling the way he thought death might. Yes. Just yeah. like having all of your emotions completely just like yep slammed out of you, like against your your will, just like fully. Mm -hmm. You know, someone else is doing that. Right, especially because it's like the like flaring all of it at yep. once and like using it all in this one <laughs> big thing. Um, just completely like numb mm -hmm. like 
Yeah, just just losing all like in a sense, probably it's like losing all sort of like sense of self in yep, a way. Basically, um, it, <laughs> it's crazy. <laughs> Fucking use that one on on someone who's burning ATM. <laughs> Honestly, fucking hit, hit, hit him hit with him your with the, yeah. That that's your uh, your big um like uh you know freaking Trump card type of thing. Yeah, well, I'm just like hit hit, hit him with your big debuff. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yep, <laughs> you know, yeah, just yep. like fucking slam him with your your big AOE attack. And she's always been good with like emotional alamancy. Like mm-hmm. that's what we saw her do like at the beginning, like right. uh, hearing her t- like talk about using her luck. Like mm-hmm. that was like kind of the active thing that she was using. She would use other metals like subconsciously, but right. like she was kind of actively using like those. soothing and stuff. Mhm. Yeah. Yeah, so she has like sort of like been been using it for a while now. Yeah. And it's like a a big part of her thing. Um, but yeah, no, I'm just like, <laughs> hit him with your, your debuff. Yep, yep. <laughs> and then, and when, when, <laughs> stagger him, and then hit him with the, <laughs> with the repost. <laughs> um, but yes, uh, Condra Spy knew about the plan. Um, he's like, he says, like, Zane's Condra Spy yep. told, told us that they were gonna, like, you know, do this, like, feigning weakness thing and yeah. try and play them against each other. And try to make an alliance. And try and make an alliance and whatnot. It's like, I was prepared for it, but I, like, you know, if I hadn't yeah. been, I might would have, like, fallen for it. Yeah. And, you know, it's like, even still, I wasn't able to, <laughs> to, like, sort of win this encounter to, like, control it. Um, yeah. Which is interesting, which is part of why I'm I like... Love, I love this line from Zane. You look like you've seen a ghost father. Your own, perhaps? <laughs> <laughs> After his contra- confrontation. Well, not, not even confrontation. Mm-hmm. It's, it's his encounter, encounter with Ben. Encounter with Ben, yeah. Yeah. He's well, like, heh. <laughs> like, get fucked. <laughs> See, here's the thing. When Zane showed up, I was like, "Are we about to fucking kill Straff right now?" Because he wants to kill Straff. He wants to so bad. <laughs> you... the, like almost basically every scene that Zane and Straff are in, mm-hmm. like together, I'm like, "Kill him, do it." <laughs> yeah. I, I am, I, I am like God. I am God. I am God in your head. Do it. <laughs> Telling you to kill him. <laughs> yeah. Uh, which gives me. It's, that that's it. See, Zane's actually the hero of Aegis because he's the one who's hearing the voices in his head, mm, yeah, like yeah, Rand yeah, from Wheel yeah, of yeah, Time. Yeah. So if we're really going <laughs> down that rabbit, like down that road, it's like ah, well, he hears the voices. <laughs> well, we gotta get uh, Zane to the Well of Ascension. Then. Yeah, we gotta get Zane to the Well of Ascension. <laughs> Christ, no, <laughs> I, I don't think that, that would be good. I'd much rather have have been there than Zane. <laughs> but who knows? Maybe Zane will get better. Maybe Zane will just be the new Rashik. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know. Yeah. Who who fucking knows what's gonna happen, but uh, but yeah. Uh, so why didn't uh, uh? That's why he didn't go with the plan was because he knew about the yeah the plan from the the Condor spy, which then made me go. So like in that moment, I'm like, uh, Doxon. Yep. I'm really worried about like, Doxon. Who knows the plan? Like, mm-hmm. or like, who could have done that? Yeah. Right, excuse me, it's like, we've already determined certain people yep. aren't it. So it's like, Dachshund's like my big, like, one that I'm worried about uh, in, in this moment. Um, like, hearing about, like, they the, the Conjure knew the plan, because I'm like, shit, it's someone who is, like, yep. in the sort of, like, yep. inner circle in that way. Um, but yeah, and then, is this, then whenever they have the, like, is, like, the end of this chapter, they're like... Heading back to the castle. Uh, for first in this conversation, uh, uh, Straff wants Vin mm-hmm. dead and is telling. Right, right, Zane, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like, um, uh-huh. yeah, kill Vin so then I can. Because there's also like a whole thing where it's like, um, Ellen is like earlier whenever they're having this sort of like confrontation. He was like, um, uh, you can't come back with me to the city because they'll. Because I told them, yes, that, uh, that to not open it to for you under mm, like any circumstances. Under any circumstances, they they would assume that like you were threatening me yeah. and stuff like that, yeah. and like and that like you'll try and kill me and yeah. use Ven as a hostage. In that case, like you know they won't do it and all that sort of stuff. Yeah. So it's like ha- had that sort of plan. So he's like, okay, you gotta kill Ven. <laughs> yep. <laughs> because she's too powerful and she'll kill me. Yeah. And if oh. I kill him, no, like we're not not attacking. We won't attack. 
Not until you kill her. <laughs> yeah. Not until she's out of the picture. Yeah, because he's, like, thinking to himself, it's like, so, are we going to attack? And he's like, he wants to do it. He's so close to doing it. Yep. He's like, it's like, the instinct is for him to say, just fucking go ahead and yep, attack. let's just do it. Let's just do it. Which is part of why I'm like, <sighs> but but then he doesn't, because he's, like, worried about that. Which I'm like, but, like, if he had set on his side. Yeah. Then, like, wouldn't he be, like, less worried about, like, doing the attack? I, mean, I, guess... I think he's worried that Vin would just go straight for him. Yeah. And, like, not... Mm-hmm. He, he just cares too much about his life. Like, yeah. he, he does not want to want to risk just her going straight for him. Yeah. Like, he could make preparations to, to like, mm-hmm. be out of the way, but, like, she's mm-hmm. still going to go find fun, like, go straight for him. Right. Yeah. I guess it's just sort of, like, this thing is, like, yeah, I don't know. Because, it's like, he did just have this whole, like, encounter and, like, feeling her yep. and all that sort of stuff, but it's also, like... Yeah, I mean, it's also, it's like, yeah, Zane was there, but he wasn't, like, doing anything yeah, to actually, yeah, yeah. like, stop her and yep. stuff, so it's, like... And, like, in this section or whatever, he, uh, Straff thinks he's, like, Zane respects her, and mm-hmm. supposedly she killed the Lord Ruler, so I'm, like, maybe she is all that. Right. So, like, he does know that, like, Zane at least thinks she's good, mm-hmm. and if, and, you know... Yeah, it's, like, he, he doesn't at any point during this think about, like, oh, having, like, this sort of thing with Set... But that doesn't necessarily. But that's neither sort of confirmation yeah. nor unconfirmation. Yeah. <laughs> you know. So it's like, I my assumption is that the thing with set is not real, but, it, but that's not sort of necessarily based on anything other than just like, that's my just kind of guess right now. I said that was a bluff, but maybe it could be true and that could be sort of like a thing that we get sort of surprised about later in a sense yep. but my my sort of assumption is that like it's probably nothing but who knows and then there's also a little bit talking about uh his misting children mm-hmm. yes and this is and this is something whenever i heard it because like i had talked in a previous episode about sort of like the whole straff yep you know harem yep. and all yeah, the yeah, like yeah. shitty stuff about that kind of a little out of nowhere just like yeah. oh he's just like a creep and yeah okay interesting and, and the thing was it's like there, there wasn't any sort of like like to me it's like it, it just sort of was brought up and it's like and he's shitty but yep. there's not any sort of like him kind of like any sort of like self-justification yeah. any sort yeah, of yeah, like yeah. you know it's like you know i deserve to have this because yeah. whatever the fuck you know kind of thing it was just kind of like oh and this is just like a thing about him i guess but then like now we we sort of find out that he's uh, eugenicsing himself yep. a bunch of mistings and yep. and only one misborn so far yep but it's like because they only come from nobility um you can like trace a lot of these like mistings and misborn yeah. Um, but also they come from nobility, so it's, like, by having all these, like, this sort of stable of women, essentially, I can just sort of, like, produce more high, like, you know, children with the likelihood of having, uh, you know, the trait of Alamancy. And so, like, he's just, like, pumping out children, and it's, like, it, it is obviously, it's, like, his own sort of, like, you know, it's, like, gross selfish yep. thing you know in the in the sense of it's like you know is that the only reason yeah. why you're doing this right right but it's like it, it sort of like adds this dimension to it that sort of makes it more like narratively interesting to yeah. me than just sort of like having it be this like thing that's just kind of like shitty about him yeah yeah so so it's like you know like if it had been it's like that's like understandable still but this just kind of like adds another yeah. layer to it that makes it more sort of interesting to me personally, yeah. Yep. Uh, so it's like whenever I hear that, it's like yes, this is this is what I was, yes, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. sort of sort of like <laughs> looking of a, for, yeah, his sort of like personal philosophy yep. and and why that sort of allows him to like justify this to himself, yeah, and 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 you know it's it's like it's twofold. It yep. is this sort of like selfish, like I can do whatever I want, but specifically it also has this like, yeah, you know, and we get Ellen calling him out, which is fun. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yep, 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 and then and then they have their like. Cart uh, ride yep. back to back to Luthadel, back inside the walls, and Vin's not doing well. <laughs> Vin's had this whole emotional thing with Zane, um, and Ellen's not saying any of the right things, but he doesn't know why. Yeah, because he's like, oh, she thinks that like 
you know, because he's like, oh, trying to sort of like reassure her. Yeah, that like she's good enough or, or right. like, yeah. But but she's right now sort of like, that's not like the actual like thing that's like yeah. bugging her. Yeah. And then he's like, oh, she thinks that I fucked up somehow. Yeah. Because like, he's like, she's so much better than me at these kinds of things. And so it's like, she saw some way out of this that was like way better. And, but you know, she doesn't want to like hurt my feelings yeah. about it. You know, and he's like trying to be like, hey, is everything all right? But Vin is like, oh, don't worry about it. It's yeah. Like, Vin, yeah. <laughs> please. It's nothing, Ellen. You're right to be excited. You were brilliant in there. I doubt even Kelsey could have manipulated Straff so neatly. Mm hmm. And it's just like, you know, it, it's one of those things where it's <laughs> like, I, I'm just so glad that Ellen is trying. Yes. He's like trying to like reach out and communicate yep. to her, but she's just like too, being too internal. Like, oh, I don't yep. want to like bother him with these sorts of things. And it's like, it's like Vin needs to learn how to sort of like open up a bit more yeah. and sort of like share some of these like because like I'm sure like to her these things are these like kind of like weaknesses yeah that like these sort of vulnerabilities that she has like a hard time sort of like opening up about sometime yeah. because she's been so sort of like guarded her whole yeah. life so it's like while she's gotten better she's, she's still working working on it yeah she's still working on it and she still is like working through some things and it's like her. She still has this kind of, like... You know, it's like Zane represents a lot of these sort of, like, old thought patterns yep. of, like, you know, sort of, like, oh, it's only about, like, worth and value. Yep. Like, you know, like, you're, how much you can be, like, used by someone and, right. like, they're going to, like, discard And that you. kind of, like, leads, leads into, like, betrayal mm-hmm. and stuff, which is, like, huge for her. Right. And, and so it's, like, Zane's just sort of, like... Like, these thoughts were already, like, in her yep. and he's just sort of, like poking them and then whenever yep, she giving gets them a, a little bit of uh mm-hmm. water to make them grow yep and, and so it's like and then you know and we'll see it more in sort of like the next chapter like when she gets some time away yeah she can sort of like do do a little bit of like self repair yep. yeah, yeah but yeah, yeah. It, it's just like it'll be better if you can just like talk about it yep <laughs> yeah, you can yeah, just yeah. like have a real conversation <laughs> about it but like you know she, she's not just like immediately like well now now I think yes. that, you know, but, but she just like, it's like, no, don't, don't, you know, yeah. you know, Ellen's better than that, but you know, just like the, the seeds yeah, but of it's doubt. still your own like insecurities and stuff mm-hmm. that can make. Yeah. Right. And so it's this whole like thing. It's like, it, you know, it can be very frustrating. It, 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 the whole like characters not communicating miscommunication thing as sort of like a trope is often kind of, like, maligned. Yes. And can be very annoying. And it can be. Yeah. But if it's done well, it can mm-hmm. be, like, it can, it can be good. And, and, and it can be, because it's, like, in this situation, it's, like, it's frustrating, but not in such a way where I'm, like, it's frustrating in a way that's, like, fine. Yeah. Where, where it's, like, like, oh, I want you to do it, but, like, yes. you know, it doesn't It's feel... not like, oh, like, you're just being an idiot. Right. Like, mm-hmm. like, I can't think of a reason why you wouldn't talk about this. Mm-hmm. It's, like... You know. Right, it's just like, please, just like... <laughs> yeah. It's like, you want it, and so then whenever it does happen, it'll be like, yay, yes. you yeah, know. Yeah, yeah. But it, it, you can't make it, like, too painful yep. in the sense that, like, it'd be, like... It, you know, it, it's the difference between, sort of, like... <sighs> you, you, different layers of, like, feeling when it comes to fiction, right? Like, when you, when you're in a story and you're feeling a certain way about the story it's like you're feeling a certain way in the story because you're following along with the emotions of the story Uh, and then there's like your sort of feelings about the story kind of detached from it the the sort of like the the suspension of disbelief where you're like you're in the moment and you're feeling these feelings and it's like you know this is a sad scene this is like a scene about something that's frustrating or like yes you know something like that and like you're you're feeling yep. the the feelings as they're sort of like intended in quotes, right? Um, which you know, getting into like yep. what an author like intends is very yeah, like yeah, difficult. Yeah. But could you? It could be a very frustrating or sad feeling, like the, you know, right? You know, it's like it, it's intentionally trying to yep. sort of like you know get across these like feelings besides just being like happy and yep. good and fun, yep. you know, all the time. But you know, it's like it's an enjoyable kind of frustration. Yes. You yeah, know, it's yeah, like. Yeah. When you play a game or something, it can be frustrating, but then afterwards it's still, like, satisfying. Yeah. yeah. Um, and so it's, like, you know, it's not frustrating in a way that makes you frustrated with the story, per se. It's, like, it's frustrating in the way that it's frustrating that Vin 
can't yes. get herself to open up, but she like she wants, she wants to yeah. in a sense, but she also like you know. Yeah. And Ellen is very very trying, but mm-hmm. he's he does not know. He's like I don't don't know what's going on. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's like Ellen means well, but he doesn't always like get people. Yeah, in. and he doesn't take it as like as like oh I'm like mm-hmm. or I don't know. It's I lost my train of thought. Yeah, <laughs> it, it it happens. Yeah, because it's like. Ellen, Ellen, and and Vin just sort of like approach things from different yeah, angles, yeah, yeah. and and you know he's not like, I suck and I'm like he like Ellen has his sort of like self deprecating yeah, yeah, side yeah. to him, but it's like different than like Vin's. Yeah, you know they have sort of like different kinds of insecurities in a way. You know Vin, like Ellen's not like oh Vin's just using me, right, <laughs> or, right. or whatever. Um, you know he's like oh like I them not doing enough but yep. he's not like oh i don't deserve her yeah he's like yeah, oh yeah. i'm maybe like failing her in some way or like like oh i could like do better yeah but he doesn't like then go like this makes me unworthy to be in this relationship with her he's just like ah, oh, i fucked up and she yeah, saw some yeah, yeah. <laughs> some other way to do it yeah, and, like yeah, yeah, yeah. you know i just have to like <laughs> you know learn get better it's so tough you know but like <laughs> Like, Ellen's just like, no, nah, we're cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> In a sense, while, like, while Vin is very, like, ah, z- z- yeah. they can all fall apart in any moment, <laughs> you know? Yeah, yeah. Uh, so, yeah. And, and that's, and that's... Oh, yeah, and then, and then, uh, Ellen gets deposed. <laughs> yeah. So, first they talk to, like, Ham and Breeze, and they're like, yeah, like, kind of worked mm-hmm. mostly, and, yeah, it's great. It was like, oh yeah, it worked, and like I, yeah. th- I didn't go exactly <laughs> according to plan, but it all like worked out, and then, yep. it, and and so and so then the scene is described yeah. where it's like, and then, uh, Dachshund, he's looking a little different. He's yeah, got a kind yeah, yeah, of yeah. different expression. He comes up to 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 Ellen, even though he would normally kind of stay away from Ellen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then he like h- hands him this like letter, and. Yep. Your Majesty, this note is to inform you that by unanimous vote, the Assembly has decided to invoke the Charter's non-confidence clause. We appreciate your efforts on behalf of the city, but the current situa- situation calls for a different kind of leadership than Your Majesty can provide. We take this step with no hostility, only resignation. We see no other alternative and must ask for the good of Luthadel. We regret to inform you of this by letter. Mm-hmm. Which is, I feel like, a very passive aggressive. You weren't at the fucking meeting, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, but but the way the scene leading up to yep. it was described with Dachshund, I was like, it's Dachshund. He's the Chandra. He's about to fucking <laughs> like yeah, yeah, yeah. try and assassinate Ellen right now. <laughs> like I was so sure, or not sure, but I was yep. just like, uh, uh, he's he's doing weird things. Yep, the uh, yeah, and and then he like hands him the letter. I'm like, is this is this real? Did, is <laughs> like I was so suspicious of Dachshund because like yeah. they were just like oh he's doing something slightly <laughs> weird slightly different from what he would he's, normally he's do he's talking to Ellen instead he's, of avoiding him he's talking, and I'm just like because I was already just like the Chandra spy and yeah. like I think it's like maybe Dachshund because like earlier because I said before in a previous episode I'm like Dachshund or maybe Demu yeah because Demu is more like is someone we know but also someone we don't know so well that like um them getting replaced would feel like it's like oh it's not just like some random person yeah. we've never heard of but it's not someone who's like the immediate crew yeah. just sort of dying off screen yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah you know um and so it's like Dachshund and Demu were sort of like my two. Yeah. <laughs> Which rhymed. Um, but, but yeah, so, so, but in this moment I was like, it's Dachshund, yeah, he's yeah. doing it, it's happening. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, oh, he got deposed. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> well. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, and, and then that's, and that's the end of chapter yep. 27. And the end of part two. Mm-hmm. And, and it's part three, King. Yeah, and so it's like, you know, end of part two. And so part of me was like, oh, we should have read this chapter. <laughs> but I get what you say in terms of, like, cliffhanger. Yeah, but I wasn't certain whether or not to include this. Right, right, right. Uh, and, and so it was like, oh. <laughs> yep, yep. Really got, really got hit by that. 
Um, but yeah. Yeah, and I knew there was a lot in this chapter, so I was like, mm-hmm. I didn't know if I wanted, wanted to include it in the last one. Right. But then we split up the last one in two anyway, so we probably could have done it, but yeah, it didn't matter. But, yeah, but <laughs> you know. Uh. Hindsight. Whatever. <laughs> <you know. laughs> um, but yeah, so that's, that's that for chapter 27. Yeah. No. Now we're on to chapter, chapter 28. 28. We've been doing a thing where i'm like pausing and restarting the recording yep. like at each chapter <laughs> for like editing purposes so it's easier to find like the chapter breaks and stuff yep and i forgot <laughs> for that one i've remembered for all the other ones but i forgot for that one yeah well because because I, I, I was also going to do it before we did the epigraphs and then we just like jumped straight into them and i was like yeah it's fine <laughs> got you sorry <laughs> no nah, it's okay um but but yeah because it's like i'm getting used to like audacity yeah. and like editing with it and like boy howdy that truncate silences really just does all the work yep. <laughs> it, pretty, it, pretty sure i found it I, I heard that from following noah on their podcast i think mm-hmm. uh whoever edits i don't remember which one of them edits mm-hmm. it that's that's who mentioned it yeah i i i, I there's a part of me that want the like it's like i should start like whenever we like mention people like noting them down yeah and then being like you know shout out to these people yeah. because it's like you know it's like hey you know we're talking about these folks it's you know yeah i uh i, I like following no on uh podcast mm-hmm. it's funny because they i because of the podcast name i thought they started with stormlight archive mm-hmm. but they started with mistborn and just <laughs> don't get to know it on for like the entire mistborn series which is fun that that is that is very silly it's like it's like if we decided to title the podcast something yeah something weird like yeah, that yeah, you know because yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I was like gonna like it's like if we decided to tell us like we're reading the same series like right. it would like, it's literally like one for one exactly the yeah. same <laughs> you know um but we you know we've talked about like doing potentially like some other yeah like you know it's not we're not just gonna be doing uh cosmere forever yeah is, is sort of the plan that's why we don't have a cosmere related name yeah 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 <laughs> Yep. Yeah. We, 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 we thought about maybe doing, like, Dune. Yeah. Which neither one of us has read. Nope. But I do have a friend who's read it and who's recommended it to me a bunch, and so I'm like, maybe I could get him to... I feel like that would be really uh, fun. Because yeah. I've also... I've never read Dune. I don't know much mm-hmm. about it other than The Worms and Spice. And yep. I haven't seen the movies either. Mm-hmm. Um, so I, I really don't know much. And, like, it, I know it's left its footprints on, like fantasy yeah. like everywhere but right like, cause, because like it has like some influence on like wheel of time and stuff. oh yeah like a lot of influence on wheel of time and mm-hmm. uh all, all sorts yeah i know that like um freaking uh george not george jr <laughs> tolkien ah. didn't like dune mm. <laughs> he specifically didn't like dune okay. which is funny um because like i don't know he, he, uh, my, my friend described it as being like, uh, I, I really badly want to say George R. R. Martin, but it's J.R.R. Tolkien, <laughs> and every time I'm just yep. like, Ugh. Um, <laughs> that Tolkien is very Christian, <laughs> and that uh, Dune is not super, f- yeah, it, it's, it's sort of like, it's, it's very like critical, uh, critical of religion in general, like, of like organized religion and yeah. like the idea of like Messiah. Oh yeah. And yeah, things yeah. Like That's that. like, that, so that is one thing I know about Dune as well. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> you know, <laughs> right. When it's uh, been a series that's been so in- influential and been around for so long, mm-hmm. you know? Yeah. So, so we'll see if maybe I can convince my my buddy to to do a dune podcast i feel like us. that would be to- like so much fun and we wouldn't I have to do like we wouldn't have to do like chapter by chapter mm-hmm. necessarily like this or what, right, we could do like bigger sections and yeah. stuff too and then mm-hmm. get together and record yep and that'd be fun yeah have to figure out how to like record over like you know yeah distance yep <laughs> But I know, th- I know that's the the podcast I mm-hmm. talked about earlier. They do it over Discord. Yeah, yeah, yeah. know it on mm-hmm. because they, they they're all over the place. Right. Yeah. So that that'd be fun, yeah. and and you know, uh, Dune is 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 like sort of in the public consciousness yep. now. Yeah. In in a way, with like the movies and stuff, because my friend was like, the movies are really good. You should yeah, watch them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we haven't talked at all about. <laughs> 
chapter 28. Yeah, we haven't, have we? <laughs> no, but... Wow, chapter 28. Chapter 28, wow. Um, <laughs> I, 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 my first note is Vin yearns for a simple life. Vin yearns for simple life. Because they're, like, talking about, like, you know, him getting deposed and stuff. Yeah. And she's like, maybe we can just, like, you know, <laughs> run off. And <laughs> yeah. And Vin can just not be king and be, like, a normal guy and we can just, like you know, have a yep. life together. And I'm like, oh, Vin. <laughs> That's sweet. Um, but yeah, I'm like, yeah, the assembly, um, oh yeah, because, so it's like, they're, they're, they're talking about, like, what they should do. Yeah. And he's like, you know, I've been ignoring the assembly too much. Yeah. And it's like, yeah, yeah, it's been the whole fucking thing. Yeah. Is he keep, because it's like, when it was like, the meeting, and he's like, no, I'm not going, I'm going yep. to go do the thing. I'm like, That's gonna bite him in the yeah. ass. I knew... I, like, fucking, like, as soon as they were saying that, I'm like, this is gonna, like, he, like, they're gonna, my thought was, like, they were gonna do some shit that he, like, yep. wildly disapproved of. Yeah. And, I mean, this kind of counts. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, but, yeah, and he's like, you know, what am, what are we gonna do? Yeah. And, uh, you know, it's like, uh, Tyndall's like, you gotta enact martial law. <laughs> yeah. And, like, really, like you know, stamp down on this, and he's like, no! Yeah. Um, it's like, uh... I love, uh, with respect, your majesty, this has to be one of the most foolish things I've ever seen a leader do. Yes, because... <laughs> it the, was sheer idiocy. Right, because it's like, he wrote the law, and he wrote yeah. in a law that allows them to, like, depose the yeah. king. And it's like, you, you wrote in a law yeah. that allows them to depose you? <laughs> and it's like, no, I want a better yeah. society. Yeah. Like, you know, it's like, it's like, no, this, like, this is good. Yeah. Like, this yeah. is... Like, you know, the the idea that you can, like, you know, he got impeached, yep. <laughs> essentially. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and it's like, boy, howdy. Yeah. You know, it, it, we, we were under a tyrannical ruler for literally, like, thousands of years. Yep. And we couldn't do anything about it. Yeah. And so, like, this is, this is to, like, do something about it. And so it's like, <laughs> you know, and, and I like that we're actually getting some, like, pushback from it's like, Tyndall has this view where it's like you got to be a king and yep. you got to be strong and you got to be absolute and it's like yeah because that's that's the that's the example that they've mm -hmm. had for you know yeah for all this time yep. and also because because also it's like the, there's a lot of this talk about like sort of like pre ascension yeah. pre lord ruler and like them like sort of trying to like hold on to this like pre ascension knowledge yes. and then like give it back to the people and it's like yeah well like back before the Lord Ruler, we were still in, like, yep. a time of, like, feudalism. Yep. Kings and... Kings and, and like, empires yep. in the form of, like, you know... Um, Alendi was out here doing, like, kingdoms and empire yep. shit. That, you know, it's more like Roman Empire and, like, medieval than it is, like, you know, a sort of modern... Yep. Like, parliamentary, democratic kind of thing. Um, but, like, Alan's trying to transition in yeah. that direction. It's like, yeah. no, like... And it's hard. It's hard, and it's... Uh, and and it's, he's had a lot on his plate. Like, I mm -hmm. mean, yes, you need to do pay more attention to the assembly. He's mm -hmm. also has two, three armies knocking on his door. Yeah. You he's, know, he's it's had a, a lot. lot going on. <laughs> he's had a lot going on. And, and, and it is one of those things where it's like, you know, it makes sense, because it's like, you set up this assembly, yep. and you, set, like, you, you need to be a part of yep. it. You need to be, like, you know... And I think he kind of was like, oh, I've I've set this up and they can, I, it'll take a little bit off of me for, for a minute mm -hmm. so I can focus on this and that it's not what they needed. They needed yeah. him to be present yeah. for this. Mm -hmm. Right. And, and so the thing is, like, he's, he's probably the best man for the job, but also it's like he can't just, like, force himself yep. there because yep. it's like... Because you know, that's not what he that's not what he wants to make in the future, so he's, you know... Right, and, and also it's one of those things where it's, like, even just thinking about it in terms of, like, you know, it's like, <laughs> what does it say if suddenly I go back on all these things that I've been saying that I want to, like, change about things, but then the moment that they kick me out, yep. I'm, like, forcing myself back yep. in that goes entirely against... Yep. And it's like, who, who's gonna... Like he trust that I want to do this in the future. Like, right. I get back in power and I try and make these changes, mm -hmm. that's not going to do anything. Yeah, you know, it's like, you know, <laughs> having to be sort of forceful in yeah. that way. But I think Tyndall's like, I don't think this will ever work. Like, she like she no. just has no, yeah. I, I think, concept of it. So it's just in like... his sort of method. Yeah, it's just like, this is just downright stupid because, yeah. like, Mm -hmm. Why would why would this work? You know, which is right. which is interesting, right? Because because you know it's one of those things where it's 
Ellen, in a lot of ways, is trying to sort of appeal to people's better nature. Yeah. In, in a way that, like, Ed Tyndall almost sort of doesn't believe exists. Right. Yeah. She hasn't seen a lot of it. Right. Yeah. <laughs> and 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 we <laughs> and we get like just just a, a, a the tiniest glimpse yep. in this chapter before we get like the actual sort of explanation yeah. later. Uh, because because one of my few notes I don't have a lot of notes in this chapter probably because I was just like listening yeah and so yeah, like yeah, yeah. That, that's the problem it's like sometimes a really good chapter I don't have a lot of notes for yeah, actually yeah, yeah. because I'm just like I'm in it I'm in the conversation yep. and like because yep. they're having a lot of like interesting you know g- g- conversation about it and you know Ellen like trying to stand up for his beliefs yeah like which... you're still king I've lost the mandate of the people like it's it's mm-hmm. very yep well, and also it's like. One of the notes that I have is that, like, like, yeah, the Assembly voted them out, but the common people like Vin and Ellen. Yes. It's something that I had, like, sort of the thought of. It's like, no, Ellen kind of knows that, like, if I start acting like a tyrant and, like, sort of forcing, it's like, you know, that goes against all the stuff that I was doing. And, like, people won't, like, you know, if I'm to become king again, I need to do it in a way in which people will actually, like, still, like, respect me yeah. in a way. And, like, yeah. what, is, what does this mean if I, like, don't even... It's like, there's nothing saying that the new king can't be the old king. Yep. Yep. <laughs> in the law. Which I love. It's so good. Which is so funny. And, and also, he has, like... Because it's Ellen, he has these, like, legal shit where he's like, if they don't if they don't come up with a new king within yeah. a month, then it goes back to being me, which yeah. is so funny. And he's like, um, you know, if, if someone, like, voted in absentia or, yeah. or, <laughs> or missed the meeting, then, like, it has to be unanimous. And if we can, you know, I'm um, trying to, like, find, like, yep. a loophole or yep. whatever. Um... But but also it's like he like the people actually like like him and this is sort of my thought this isn't something that he actually like says or comes up with but it's like yeah no the people like him and Vin yeah so it's like the council can <laughs> can do whatever they want but if the people like Vin yeah and the people like Ellen yeah. then like you know the council can try and like you know it's like where where does power actually lie and it's like well if people actually trust Ellen and believe yeah. in Ellen then like you know and, and then uh, and we and, and get into that a bit more in a little bit but the 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 thing with Tyndall that i was going to say one of the few notes that i have is daughters yeah (laughs) um but my note before that is vin remembers that ellen loved her before he knew uh her misborn shit which is something that i was thinking about in the previous chapter and in this chapter she like like expressly like thinks about that and i was like yay yeah, Vin, yeah, yeah. <laughs> good good that's exactly what i wanted you to think about um but then like tyndall says that she's had a bunch of daughters or she's raised a bunch of daughters because she's like talking to ellen yeah about uh Vin, and it's like um you don't like understand her uh like you're talking about, it's like, you don't seem to understand young women. <laughs> and it's like, and you do? And it's like, I've, I've raised many daughters. And it's like, what? <laughs> um, but yeah, because they're talking about, like, you know, which matters more to you? Like, your kingdom or Vin? Yeah. And it's like, no, I'm not going to get <laughs> caught up in this, like, yeah. false dichotomy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've read too much philosophy to get caught up in a <laughs> false, <laughs> in, like, a hypothetical like this. Um but, you know, it's like, hey, you gotta, like, when it comes down to it, which is gonna be more important, saving the kingdom or your relationship with Vin? Yeah. Because, you know, we're under threat right now, and you've been talking about how Vin was acting in the carriage. Yeah. Right, and how she was being tense or whatever, and, you know, it's like, that's not the important thing right now. Uh, and it's just, like, yep. there's, like, tension yeah. there. And we hear that Tyndall had daughters, several daughters, which makes you go... Hmm? Yep. Yep. Daughters, um, you have children. Yep. And and he's like, oh, you know, uh, most of the terrace people are like eunuchs. Yeah. Which you know doesn't necessarily apply with Tyndall, but figure that there was some sort of something. Yeah. yeah. Um, that the breeding program said, you know, had some sort of effect on her, and uh, I mean, yeah. <laughs> but you know, Ellen, maybe think about. <laughs> maybe think a little bit about actually what that means yeah yeah yeah, yeah. uh and and we will get that made explicit later yeah um but 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 i did uh i i did sort of like hear that i was like daughters and then said the thing about the breeding programs and i'm like "Mm." 
<laughs> yeah. Yep. Ellen, I think uh, I think you should maybe think about that just a little bit more, or maybe don't. Yep. Yep. <laughs> um. And then I have my last note is more specific Dragon Reborn stuff, but that's just about you know the epigraph, which we already talked yeah. about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so those are my notes for this chapter, but I'm sure that like you know there's there's more stuff to talk about since. Yeah. I mean, it's mainly like this uh, discussion and stuff. Mm-hmm. We've we've hit most of it. Right. Um. Um. Yeah. Just in the conversation with uh, Ellen and Tindwell. Uh, um. I just like the the little bit of Tyndall ty- kind of trying to explain Vin and like mm-hmm. uh, she she refused to marry you because she doesn't think she's worthy of you. Mm-hmm. Nonsense. Vin's misborn Tyndall. She knows she's worth ten men like me. Yeah, and it's like no, nah, yeah, you, you, you're misunderstanding not, no. the, the, the sort of the nature of <laughs> yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, just that little that that little line. I think uh, I think we got it otherwise. Yep. Uh, yeah, so that's chapter, chapter 28, that's what yep. that was? Yeah. Alrighty. And so, chapter 29. Yep. Uh, yes. Oh, yeah, or sir, behaving more dog-like. Yeah, yeah, my yeah, first, yeah. My first note. Lying lazily, head on paws. <laughs> mm-hmm, and, and Vin's like, is he acting more like a dog? <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, we have, uh, b- b- Yeah, because he did a big, uh, dog yawn. Yeah. Oh! Wait, actually, this can stay in this part, but the uh, Chandra humor. Yeah. <laughs> That's a note that I have for one of the past chapters. Got you. That I accidentally wrote it in my, like, mm. chapter, because, tw- like, you know, it's like the my notebook on one page and another page. It's like my chapter 26 and chapter 28 are on, like, the same level. Yeah. But one's on one page and one's on the other. And so, so you I just th- wrote it in that. So I wrote, yeah, but yeah, Chandra humor because at one point, Vin and Orser are talking quietly during, like, the meeting. Yeah. And, and so it's, like, it's not really, like, important, yeah, but it's just, yeah, like, yeah. during that meeting, they're kind of talking quietly to themselves. Yeah. And Orser makes a joke about, um, like, it jokes about, like, uh, Breeze and Ham. Yes. Being distracting. Yeah. That they're always, like, distracting during the meeting. And that he should <laughs> eat one of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and Vin kind of like makes a look. He's like, "Sorry, Chandra humor. <laughs> it's a little dark." And then she's like, "He's like, nah, it's good. I don't think they'd be that tasty." <laughs> and they have like a little. I love it. Uh, I I apologize. We can be a bit grim. They probably wouldn't taste too good anyway. Ham's far too too stringy, and you don't want to know the kind of things Breeze spends his time eating. Mm-hmm. I'm not sure. One is, after all, named Ham. As for the other... I I love <laughs> that. One, one is, after all, named Ham. <laughs> As for the other, he does seem quite fond of marinating himself. I, I which saw, I love. I saw that marinating himself joke coming. Like <laughs> I was like marinating himself, and then he said yep. it, and I'm like, yep, yep, I knew it. I knew it was coming. It's good. But I love that he was like, he's, he's, he's named Ham. <laughs> it's like, yes, someone, someone mentions it. Thank you. Someone makes the joke. Oh, uh, it's good. But yes, that, that, that's all that I had to say from, from chapter 28 was I, I wanted to talk about Chandra humor. <laughs> but now in chapter 29, uh, a little bit more uh, sort of them talking. Um, oh, yes. Um, oh, and it's been a week since the meeting that they started this chapter. Ah, gotcha. Yeah, I think that kind of, like, passed over me. Yeah. Because it's, like, we we later get, like, um, we, we, we later see, like, sort of, like, the meeting where Ellen's, like, you know, talking to the yes. council and stuff yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah. And it feels pretty, like, soon after. And it, it is in the it grand is. scheme of things. Yeah, it's, yeah. like, only, like, a week, but just sort of, like, the amount of time I sort of, like... I'm, I'm often bad at, like, keeping track of those yeah, sorts of things. and there's only, like, one line. It was... It was it's mm-hmm. literally a line that's like it's been a week since the meeting or whatever yeah it's just like oh ellen's been trying to like figure some shit out yeah yeah figure out what to do and it's not been going well um but uh <laughs> i i have i have a, a a bullet point here which is rant about linguistics and orser speaking as a dog because i i just like had some thoughts yeah yeah um <clears throat> so, so so welcome to linguistics with smithco <laughs> um so, in talking about, like, okay, how can he speak as a dog? Yeah. Because, like, dogs can't talk. Um, but they say, like, oh, the voice box, that's not, like, a bone thing. Yeah. Like, the vocal folds and stuff. So, like, you know, I can... But, but then I started thinking about it, and I'm like, 
but actually yeah, yeah, yeah like the tongue and lips and all that right because so much of speech is actually about like our mouth shape yeah, and like yeah, yeah. our tongue the shape that our tongue makes inside of our mouth and the like the the sort of the the acoustic cavity of the mouth yeah. and how it's affected by where the tongue is and the lips and also the nose yeah you know like having something be nasal or whatever and so thinking about like how or sir would have to actually like, like build his body to make that possible <laughs> right J- just sort of like the ways in which like okay the the vocal folds but it's like the thing the thing that makes speech <sighs> like like there's a way in which it can work yeah there's different ways in which it can work because it's like for us it's less about our voice box and our vocal folds that allows us to speak yeah so much as it is our tongue and mouth yeah and like the dexterity of our tongues because here's the thing if you like look up what like an mri of someone speaking and the way that like the tongue moves yeah like, the tongue is the most, like, it's the muscle that we use the, sort of the most, in a sense. Yeah. Like, the, the the sheer amount of, like, physical dexterity of the tongue yeah. for speech, when you actually, like, think about it, is astonishing. <laughs> like, like... Like, like, try and speak as quickly as you can. Yeah. Like, like, really just sit there and be like, okay, I'm going to talk as quickly as I can. I'm going to, like, try and articulate the words and actually say words, but speak as quickly as I can. Yeah. Like, the amount of speed, the, the amount of back and forth that your tongue does. Yeah. Um, is incredible. And it's also so, like, subconscious. Yeah. Which is why when you try and speak another language that has different sounds... And you have to, like, put your tongue in different places. Yeah, like, consciously. Consciously, quickly, like, at that, like, it literally just, like, tires your mouth and yeah. tongue out in that way. Um, and so, like, trying to think about, like, as a dog, <laughs> yeah, how yeah, he yeah. would do it. I'm like, okay, he would really need to, like, you know, like, when dogs, like, like yeah. howl and they, like, push their, like, lips together like that. Because, yeah. like, when you open your mouth, like... The sound changes a lot, yeah. The sound changes, and the way, like, a dog can, like, open their mouth, and, and like, it's no longer, like, an acoustic, it's not like a cavity, it's, like, the mouth opens, yeah. and when a dog fully opens their mouth, and, like, their cheeks go back like that, it, it's not like a acoustic cavity, it's yeah. just like a, you know, opening. <laughs> it's just, like, two bits sticking yep. out, like, yep. you know, the, the, <laughs> he'd have to be sort of, like... Ooh, <laughs> like yeah, yeah, having yeah, his yeah. like lips Basically forward. Basically, only only speaking from like the the front. From like the front, sort of like tip of yeah. his mouth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In, in a way, um, or like not like having it come back too much. If if you were to try and like do it like that with his tongue yeah, and like having yeah, yeah. to like articulate those things and like the, the the sort of the shape of the mouth is different, which then leads to <laughs> a different and and I think potentially more cursed interpretation, which I is think great. I know where this is going. W- which is that his that the, like no, it is about making it the voice box and the vocal folds, and so he's speaking more like how a bird speaks. Okay, we're like a parrot. Or a crow or a liar bird. I thought you were going to say something even more cursed, so I like that. Because I was <laughs> That he, thinking... like, makes his face like a human face? No, I was thinking, like, in his dog mouth. He <laughs> has a human, human mouth. mouth! Oh, that's even it's better. So... I was just thinking he just, like, opens his mouth and just, like, <laughs> full words come out. It's just, like, the mouth opens and it's like a... <laughs> like, you ever seen in Lilo and Stitch when they have, like... Stitch put his claw on the record and they open his mouth. Yeah. And it's like, and, um, Hound Dog by, um, Elvis is playing. Yeah, and they, like, yeah, yeah. close and open his mouth and the music comes out. It's essentially like that where he just opens his mouth and speech just comes out. Like if he was like a liar yeah, bird yeah, or something, yeah. which is like, ah. Yeah. <laughs> because it's like, like they do like flap a little bit yeah, like yeah, yeah. a liar bird or whatever but like cuz like a liar bird just like opens its mouth and just the sound of a chainsaw comes out so i imagine it's something like that but it's just or sir opens yeah. his mouth and it's just uh. but no the idea that he has like a human mouth inside his dog mouth that is especially cursed i never thought about that until like this conversation and i hate it i That's don't like it like like that that <laughs> There's a couple of different approaches to that. One is Junji Ito, and the other is um, One, One Piece. Piece. Yep. 
Uh, I was thinking of Hippo Man. Mm. Hippo Man? A Hippo Man from Wano. Oh, yes, 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 yes. I, I mean, I was specifically thinking of the, the smile fruit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yes. <laughs> Right, the hippo man. Because, like, he's literally just, like, growing out of his tongue, right? Yeah, like... no, he's just inside the hippo mouth, and, and like, his feet just it... come out the bottom of the hippo's jaw. Like, it's just, like, two feet coming out of, yep. of the lower jaw, and then, like, the hippo opens the mouth, and, <laughs> and there's he's just like, a guy in yep, there. it's wild. God, it's so good. It's so the good. smile fruit uh, mm-hmm. users are some of the craziest designs I've ever seen. Mm-hmm. Just, like... Getting to Wano and seeing the Beast Pirates. Yeah. And, like, knowing that's, like, oh, it's this, like, army of Zoan yep. fruit users. They're all Zoan fruit yep. users, but they're, like, these artificial Zoan fruit. And I just didn't expect. No. I'm just, like, there's going to be some, like, Zoan Yeah, it's just, like, oh, no, it's a bunch of animals. Okay, cool. There's a bunch of fucking animal people. And then they're just the most fucked up animal people you've ever seen. Yep. And you can just tell that Oda's just having a lot of fun making these fucked up animal people. <laughs> where it's like, what if Giraffe Man, but it's, 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 what the, if it's, the body is like, it, it, the person's body is the giraffe's head. Well, it's like a, a man and a giraffe share a head, but yeah. the head is a human head. Yeah. So it's just a giraffe with like a human head and then a human body, body hanging down, like hanging down from the head, essentially. <laughs> I mean, it's it's a bit more like yeah, like in like yep. the upper back, I guess, of like the person. But yeah. it really is just like, it's wild. It's wild. And then the man, the chicken butt. Uh, I wasn't thinking about that. I was thinking about gorilla punch punch. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Or, or the lion stomach. Yes, the lion stomach for sure. Um, but the guy who's got like his arm is just a whole gorilla, yeah. and so yeah. he's like gorilla punch punch. Because <laughs> he punches forward, and then the gorilla, gorilla punches, punches forward. forward. And, but yes, but then of course, like, lion stomach guy, where it's just, like, big guy, and then his stomach, just like a lion head, yep. and then, like, the front and back paws coming out, and then the lion hits the guy in the crotch. Yep. But then it also, because they share a body. <laughs> yeah, it hurts the lion as well. It hurts well. the lion as well, and it's so funny. <laughs> and, and it's still, and that to me. And they're torturing a child. While this is happening, they're torturing a small child. Yeah, I mean, but that's just a constant in Wano. <laughs> These guys are always torturing children. <laughs> I mean, just by the sheer existence of Wano oh as it is. Oh my god. <laughs> just by making Wano as it is now, they're essentially torturing the whole population. But specifically in this moment, they are torturing yep. a small child. Yeah. Um, is it... Tama. Tama, yeah, yeah, yeah. they're yeah. trying to, like tear her cheeks off yeah yeah right because yeah yeah because she's gotta like do like the cheek pinch thing yep. and then they're just that's how that's our power is yeah she pinches off her like cheek into a little into a little ball to yep. feed um animals and then they love her mm-hmm. fucking crazy and then we're just like yeah no horse lady is just fine with it she yeah. actually just like yeah. likes tom yeah she's just chill <laughs> she's just she's chill like, okay, well, okay we're just not gonna talk we're about just that we're not gonna worry about it too much <laughs> Wano's wild. It's, it's good, but it is also, like, wild. Um, oh, but yeah, no, Lion lion Man, because this is, of course, the important part. Mm-hmm. Not, oh, wait, going back to, to Love Ascension. You thought, you thought. Yeah, no, but, but getting back to, to Lion Man and the lion punching him in the junk and then it, it still hurts the lion, it, it indicates in my mind that, like, the lion and the man are in a sense, like, separate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which, to me, like, my theory is that Caesar, the way that he makes the artificial smile fruit, is that he essentially, like, takes an animal's soul Soul, and just, like, shoves it in a fruit. Yeah. Which, like, what does that mean? How does that work? I don't fucking know. But in One Piece, the soul is real. so it's been measured in One Piece, so. Yes, (laughs) like, in One Piece, that thing. That that study or whatever was real. Was real. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, the the whole, like, oh, after death, the body weighed, you know, this amount left, you know. Because, I mean, like, it, 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 you know, in One Piece, you can 
you know, push yep. someone's pain out of their body with right. with the with the paw paw fruit. Right. So, so like, it's you know, you know, whatever. Make, um, makes sense. It, it makes sense. You know, it's like One Piece is a, is a mystical world. Yep. Um, One Piece is sci fi, but it's also fantasy. Yep. Yep. <laughs> so you think that One Piece is fantasy, and then you find out that it's also sci fi. Yep. Um, I I was watching. Well, I, I showed it to you like this little uh, short of Will White uh, mm-hmm. being like, "Oh, if you like Cradle, read One Piece," and then mm-hmm. just has a. Uh, just basically mm-hmm. keeps recommending One Piece. Right. Yes. What, what, what were we saying before the bar keys? I think we we're talking about One Piece. Yeah, I mean that sounds like us. <laughs> oh yeah, it's like Will White recommending yeah. One Piece oh, and yeah, stuff yeah. like that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but I guess we should probably talk yeah. about the book actually, yeah. especially considering we have a lot of chapters <laughs> yeah. to talk about. Um, what was it twenty nine? We were on. Yep. Yeah. Uh, yes, oh, yes, right, so, somehow this all started with my rant. Right, or sir. About or sir and his ability to speak as right, a dog. Right, 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 But I think that I basically covered yes. that, which is that, like, his mouth shape would not be quite right. Yeah. But, like, maybe it would would work yep. fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, 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 then, and then cursed versions. Yeah, and then cursed versions, which led us to yes. One Piece. Yes, exactly. Of course. <laughs> um. Yeah. One thing in this, like, in this conversation or whatever that I wanted to mention mm-hmm. was, uh, uh, Orster's, like, you're pu- burning pewter to, like, to stay awake, and she's just... I, I have, I have that in my notes, yep. yep. Not healthy to sleep three to four hours a day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's only sleeping, like, a few hours a night. Yeah. And, like, burning pewter to stay awake. Yeah. She's basically constantly burning it. Yeah, which is, which isn't good. Um, she, because, <clears throat> like, we had this whole talk. In the first book about yep. about getting dependent yep. on burning your metals to function, and Vin yep. has always ignored that. And there's also this line: "How could she sleep with that quiet thumping in the distance?" Yep, if she has insomnia because of the thumping, is my note. Which, because that was the thing, is that like the 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 not Lord Ruler, yeah, Alendi in the journal talks about like having trouble sleeping. It seemed to be getting closer for some reason, or simply stronger. I hear the thumping sounds from above, the pulsing from the mountains, words from the logbook. Mm-hmm. Yep, she's been thinking about it a lot. Um, yep. And, oh, yes, and, and then they talk, and Orser's like, hopefully that meat that I left out should be good by now. Yeah. It's like, and, and thus, you know, housekeeping cleaned up again. I told you to, <laughs> to warn them about that. <laughs> I was like, what am I going to tell him that my dog likes to eat it? It's like, yes. Because <laughs> Chandra like aged meat because they're carrion feeders. They're, mm-hmm. the, you know, the, yep. the, the young, the young ones. Yep. Um, because it's like, oh, we're mist race that grew yep. up, which it's like, cause it's like, oh, cause, cause Vin talks about like they're related, yeah. like, oh, like, you know, being related to carrion feeders or whatever. And it's like, but like, I think that they are just. They, they grew up. Yeah. That yeah, doesn't mean, yeah. Like, I don't think that they're necessarily like a diversion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think that this is like a, you know, fucking chimps versus bonobo yeah. situation, yeah, yeah, you yeah. know? <laughs> I, th- I think that this is, you know, baby versus adult situation. And, and and I enjoy that it's like, it's like, why does he like fucking rotten meat? And it's like, oh, because, yep. you know, the, the, it's Yeah, they're scavengers. They're, they're scavengers. They're, they, they just... Uh... Mm-hmm. Glorp around and uh, mm-hmm. and absorb uh, the bodies and everything else around. He, he was really like, "What if? What if a gelatinous cube?" <laughs> I love it so much. <laughs> it's like, "What if a gelatinous cube, when it absorbed you, it took your bones yep. and became a shambling, <laughs> a shambling mound?" Oh, it's so good. Yeah, I love the mysteries and the Condor so much. They're one of my favorite like it's a fantasy lot of, creatures. It's a lot of fun, honestly. Like, like they're a very unique sort of a fantasy creature. Yep. And and Vin has her revelation that the deepness was the mist, mm-hmm. or she she well see she she doesn't say that but it's very much implied. She's like watching the sunrise and watching like the mist as it's like sort of blocking out the sun and like keeping things dark. Yeah, and it's, it's like it's, it's as if the mist is like fighting the sun, and she's like, I figured it out. <laughs> yeah. I think I know what the deepness is. Yeah. Um, yeah, I just realized what the deepness was, yeah. and it's like, and so my thoughts like the mist because I think we, I'm sure that I've that we've said that before. You haven't. I I never said that the deepness was the mist. I don't think so. Because it's like because I was I was wondering if if that was going to be one of your uh... one of my theories. Yeah. I feel like it's one of those things that's like 
existed in the back of my mind somewhere. And, like, the mist is just, like, always there, so you just don't always really fully think about it. I think it's one of those things, because, like, I do remember being like, oh, like, you know, like like a dark mist yeah. or whatever, and yeah, I'm like, yeah. mist? Yeah. You know, and, and it's like, they're, 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 it's like related. Yeah. To, like, you know, it's like, oh, because, like, you know, the mist came, like, after the ascension and whatnot. So I'm like, was the mist the deepness? But but there's the sense of, like, well, that doesn't make sense. Because yeah. it's, like, it's just always here. Um, so it's, like, I think it's one of those things that, like, it was never fully, like... It, there, there wasn't, like, a, a thing to really, like, fully talk about it. Right. You know, it's one of those things where it's, like, it kind of exists in the back of your head. Yeah. Of, like, there's some sort of, yep. like, connection, but just sort of, like, Yeah. Um, I don't think it ever sort of became any sort of, like, specific theory. It's just kind of, like, this, like, floating, yeah. you know, it's yeah. <laughs> floating nebulous thing, like yeah. the mist. <laughs> um, and so is there anything else from yes. 29? Um, I did want to talk about the uh, or- Orsers, like, uh, telling Vin uh, that he, uh, he doesn't like Zane. Oh, yeah, and yeah, And just, yeah. like, stay away from him, like... Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah, because, yeah. like, you know, Conjure, we're a pretty good judge of characters, because yeah. <laughs> we, like, learn how to, like, learn people and how to impersonate yeah. them and stuff like that. Oh, and doesn't... Is, yeah. isn't... What I've seen of Zane is worrying. He seems too pleased with himself. He seems too deliberate in the way he has befriended you. He makes me uncomfortable. Mm-hmm. And, and also, doesn't doesn't Vin say, like, hey, you can, you can choose a different body yep. if you want? Yep. You don't have to be a dog anymore? And it's like, oh, you could use those bones that we found. It's like, no, yeah. I didn't digest them, so I wouldn't be able to, like, know yeah. the body well enough to recreate it. But I'm like, yeah, but could you just kind of, like, you know... <laughs> yeah, like, make, uh... You know, just sort of, like, use the bones as a structure and yeah. then just kind of make a person. Yeah. But I think that kind of goes against the whole, like, chondro when they're in, mm-hmm. like, with society, they have to... Right. take on a person like they're not they're mm-hmm. not being an individual chondra out on their own they're right right, right. You know. no I, I know but i'm just like but yes more question of like you know like mechanics right like is that like a thing that they could, they do? could do yeah right yeah, sort yeah, of yeah. like take the body and just like make your yeah. own yeah. sort of body and then <laughs> and then orser makes his own body and turns out orser makes like a woman's body and then and then, mm-hmm. we have to, and mm-hmm. then it's like haha gender <laughs> <laughs> this whole time or makes a more sort of like androgynous body who knows yeah, yeah, yeah. um i'm like if, if orser could make a body just like just here's some bones make whatever body yeah. you want around it what would you make orser that's an interesting question wish i could do that <laughs> you know just like more since my... i've since i've read this i'm like i want to be a chondra mm-hmm. <laughs> just like just take my own bones and yep. morph morph myself around them as i see fit that'd be great i'd love yep. to do that just just make yourself whoever you want to be not necessarily someone else but just you know make you know yep that kind of exact ability to shape your own yep. body is very like appealing um but yeah uh but i also like uh or sir if you have something to say tell me <laughs> <laughs> i apologize mistress i'm not accustomed to chatting with my masters especially not candidly so mm-hmm. it's just nice to see yeah like, I, their relationship kind of grow and the, like i've really enjoyed these last chapters yeah. getting to see like vin and or sir just sort of like talking a bit more because that's yeah. why that's why i had like chondra humor as yes. like a note and i wanted to talk about it because yeah. it's just so nice to see them like you know, and, and I feel like it's fine having us sort of, like, in this chapter because yep. it's sort of, like, we, we do get... Because, like, this chapter is, like, entirely just them, like, talking yep. and stuff. Right, because she's in the place that, like, Zane and her last yes. fought. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so that's why Orso sort of, like, brings it up. Yeah. And also it's become a thing where, like, Vin's, like, <laughs> has Orso, like, jump in her arms and then she, like, starts jumping around doing her Mistborn stuff. I know she does that at some point during these chapters. Where she's like up and like, like holds yeah, him yeah, yeah. as she like you know um, flies around and stuff. Um, I'm pretty sure that happens uh, in in these chapters, yeah, yeah, but they're yeah. not specifically this chapter. And it's just like it's nice to see them. <laughs> yeah, bond. Oh, and at one point, at one point, she's like scratching his head. Like, like, I think at one point when she was, like, maybe, like, in the, this might have also been the previous chapter when she was, like, nervous during yeah, yeah, the meeting. Yeah. She was, like, <laughs> scratching his head, scratching his ears, and, yeah. and he's like, uh, mistress, I don't know how I feel about this. Oh, sorry. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> yep, it's just so fun. I, I, I love it. And he's like, no, I'm, I'm fine continuing to be a dog for a while. Yep. It's, like, kind of a pain 
switching forms all the time and I've grown kind of like used to this yeah. and like I, I don't mind it um so yeah it's, it's, it's interesting and he's like he's looking to be more dog like I'm like if, if, if a conjure just is a thing for long enough does it sort of like is it like a part of it and he was like oh yeah, I yeah. begin like sort of acting more dog like or like do you like have to change every now and then yeah or can you just sort of, like, be the same thing and it's just, like, oh, I'm just getting used to being a dog? Yep, yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Just some thoughts. Because it's, like, they have to eat, but he eats just, like, the rotten meat and stuff, like they were yep. saying. So it's, like, he doesn't have to, like, eat a person and become them, per se. He right. He can just, like, eat rotten meat. <laughs> <laughs> it's, like, I so really get to have good food while I'm pretending to be someone because he's having to eat our food. <laughs> Which is, it's, it's interesting. Yeah. Because it's like, if you did have just like Contra in society, it's like, yep. hello, I'm so and so. And the raw meat, it's like, Ooh. it's it's fermented, it's yep. aged. Just, you know? I mean, just a lot of jerky, you know? Mm hmm. Yeah, it, it's just like, you know, it's like kimchi or something. You know, yeah. it's like, yeah, yeah. You, just gotta, you just gotta leave it for a while. You just gotta be <laughs> the right kind of <laughs> decomposed. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like wine or cheese, he says, you know, it's, it's aged, made better. Um, but yeah, so is that, is that now everything from chapter yes, 29? Yeah. Alrighty. Chapter 30. Yeah, 30, 31, and 32 I have, like, less notes for overall. For chapter 30 I have talking with Seizet about the deepness. So, the, so that's just sort of like, you know, uh, a very sort of general note. Yeah. <clears throat> but, but they have this whole conversation, because, like, we're, we're in, like, Sazed's head, and he's like, um, he's reading the tablet. Yep. He's like transcribed it and he's reading it. And we get like an, like a little section where it's like straight up what we've been like hearing yep. uh, in, in the epigraphs, but like all like together as like a section. And it's like, yep, it's right there in order. But he does also like skip around to some other parts yeah. and sort of, you know, it's like, wow, we like. I actually have like a thing by one of you know the the yeah world makers is that what it's called uh world bringers world bringers yeah yeah it's like one of the world bringers who are like the sort of the order of people that kind of like preceded or like inspired the keepers yeah, yeah. you know the, the keepers are kind of like a spiritual successor to them in a way and he's like and I actually have like a document from one of them right now. I'm like, yep. oh, it's so exciting. Yeah. <laughs> and it's also like, I, he's like, oh, it's like, he fits a surprising amount of text on such a small tablet. Yeah. Which <laughs> is like, I'm like, yeah, I guess that makes more sense than what I was thinking, which is literally just a poneglyph. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Where it's yeah, just yeah. like huge, like bigger than a person. I, I think it, it, it is, like, set into the, the wall, because he just has a rubbing of it. Right, it was, like, set into a wall, but yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah. oh, like... Got you, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a surprising amount of, you know, like, you know, he fits a surprising amount of yeah, text in such yeah, a small... Yeah. I think I probably was visualizing it. It's basically Poneglyph as well. Right, and, and so it's like, now I'm thinking more about, like, and, and it could be, it could still be big, but just, yeah. like, a lot of text. Because I think about, like, um, <clears throat> uh, more, more linguistics, um... Mesopotamia, the like cuneiform yeah, yeah, tablets. Yeah. They have these little cuneiform tablets, and they're really like they're like the size of like your palm, like yeah. literally just your palm, because they would hold them in their hand and like use like a little wedge to just like make these like indentations in clay. And you see these like pictures of these like tablets, yeah, and and the amount of text on them, and you think that they must be like oh like the size of like a book or something, yeah, and they're really just like these palm sized things. <laughs> they're just put tiny little, little text on yeah. them because it's like when that's what you have yep. you, you you learn as a scribe to fit yep. as as much text on the space that you have as possible so the idea of Quan with his like tablet yes. of metal just like because <laughs> he talks about like pounding it into yep. the into the metal yeah um just like tiny text just like a little like chisel just like you know, like, it could still be, like, a, a relatively, like, big tablet, but he could just, like, have, like, really, like, yep. tightly packed a bunch of info in there, potentially. Um, but, yeah, and so, so they start talking, because, like, Vin shows up, and uh, it's, like, I want to talk about the deepness. It's, like, what's the deepness? Um, and he starts, like, going off on this thing, and, and it's, like, it's, like... 
when I asked Ellen, he hardly <laughs> told me yeah. anything. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> he yeah, actually yeah. like <laughs> telling me all this stuff. It's great. And like it, it I really love this conversation yeah. because it's like Vin actually enjoying like research yep. and talking about this kind of stuff with Says Yeah, they and she's a... she's been wanting someone to like talk about this with because mm-hmm. she's like, no, there's this stuff happening, and yep. just like I'm so happy to just like have you know. someone that I can actually like, yep. talk with this about and someone who actually like yeah, and it's also interesting. Mm-hmm. It, it's super interesting, and like Sazen's worried that he's like boring her, yeah. but she's like, no, this is great, <laughs> and I just like I, I love this conversation. Yeah. Um, it's like some some people think it's a fabrication of Lord Ruler. Some mm-hmm. people, you know. Yep, and it's like, yep, we we talked about that in the first book. Where it's yeah. like, it seems like it's, did he just make all this up, and it's like, oh, you know, it's some sort of creature, but like, oh, maybe yep. it's just some sort of like army. Maybe yeah. it's more like metaphorical. It's, you know, there's a lot of things. It's like, could it be the mist? Yep. And it's like that's been you know theorized before, because everything's been theorized before as to like sort of what the deepness could be. Yeah. Um. And Vin thinks that she's the hero of ages, but like she's kind of shy to admit yeah, it. Yeah, it's yeah. It's like yeah. so, like if like so, so if the mists were like the deepness, and it's like back, then like we'd need like does that mean like like the hero of ages? Yeah, Cause, yeah, yeah. Because like <laughs> it's like oh Vin, <laughs> and yeah, Vin Vin has Messiah syndrome. Um. I, I think I wrote that down somewhere. Um, or maybe I didn't. Okay, I wrote that down later. Um, but yeah, she's like, you know, kind of implying maybe that it's her. Because she's here in the thumping, yep. like Alendi was. Yeah. And, okay. Our audio, like, fucked up for a second there. <laughs> like, uh, I was I was saying the thing about um, Alendi was hearing the thumping, and then it, like, we were looking... At audacity, yep. and it's like it just stopped. <laughs> like it just like you know, it's like oh, you know, normally we're, we're sort we see of see the waves going along. Yeah, like see the timeline as it's like happening, and then it just like stopped, and then just like started again. <laughs> but like slowly. But like slowly, it was being weird and slow, <laughs> and then it popped up with the thing being like, oh, we think some audio was lost, and going yep. back, it's like literally a second. Yeah, like literally, it was just like. Like, I don't think I even really lost anything that I was saying. It just sort of, like, we immediately, like, noticed and were, like, quiet. Yeah. Like, (laughs) fucked up. Um, But, so I then... So we saved. Yep. <laughs> we, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I save think, the project. Save, save the project. Hey, if you're, if you're listening to this in the background while you do something else... Save. Consider saving what you're doing right mm-hmm. now. Yep. Whether that be a game <laughs> yeah. or, or or some sort of art thing, you know. Yep. Um, the, Barry Kramer, a previously editor for Game Grumps, he does like live streams and stuff now that I've yeah. that I've watched, and he, he, I think because he did like these live streams of himself like editing, um, his like. A good enough summary of Kingdom Hearts videos, and maybe it was in one of those that I heard him say this, where he was like, "Don't drop your spaghetti," <laughs> and f- talking about like saving. Yeah. It was like, "Don't drop your spaghetti," because it's like, <laughs> I don't know why that became like the phrase that they use, but yeah. it's like, you know, if you if you um, you know, don't save and you lose all your your shit, you you dropped your spaghetti. <laughs> So so, don't drop your spaghetti and save whatever it is that yep. you're doing. But anyway, Alendi, Alendi could hear the thumping, yep. but but Alamancy, <laughs> like Vin hears. Oh, I see. <laughs> I, I see the way forward. I was looking at the spikes. <laughs> yep, like like Vin hears the thumping because of Alamancy. Yeah. Like, whenever she's, like, burning her bronze or whatever. Or we assume, because, like... Oh, yeah, because she's burning bronze. Yeah, because she's, yeah, like, yeah. I can hear it yeah. whenever I'm, like... And 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 it's, like, it's what about Lendi? Yeah. Like, he could hear it. We could hear it all the time. And there's no, like, reference in there to Alamancy. Maybe Alamancy at, the, at that time was just so normal it didn't warrant mentioning. Yeah. Maybe he could do it, but only, like subconsciously like how vin could do it back in the day yeah eh, i don't <laughs> know or maybe they knew it as something else back then and it was this whole yeah. other thing yeah, yeah, yeah. you know it's like oh back then we knew everything there was to know about it we didn't call it alamancy we called yep. it this other thing yeah yeah, yeah. whoever the fuck i don't know there, there's so many 
possibilities. <laughs> and I want to know. Yeah. I want to know. Yep. We're, we're getting. Can you show me? I we're getting into it. We really are. The allomancy. Uh, <laughs> we're, we're getting close. We are. We're, we're more than halfway yep. through this book. Um, and, and, and like some stuff's about to happen. <laughs> some stuff's about to happen. Um, but, but in this chapter, uh, we get the, the, the Tyndall stuff. Says it talks about Tyndall and how, and how she was a part of the, the breeding program. Um, because, you know, a, a breeding program means breeding. <laughs> So they can't all be be eunuchs, and and so uh, she was part of the breeding program. She had a lot of children. Yeah. But it, it, it's interesting because it's like at like a really uncomfortably young age. Yeah. Of course, you gotta you got yep. you gotta make it an uncomfortably young age for this sort of thing. Got to to show how bad and evil it is. Um, but uh, it, it's interesting because she's a part of the synod. Yeah. Which again, it just sounds like he's saying Senate, Senate. yeah. Um, and it's like she was sort of specifically like went and became a part of it, yep. in order to continue the keepers. Yes, because um, Farrah Kemi is. It was being like specifically like bred out or like to, to like mm -hmm. keep, it, yeah yeah it's like part of the breeding program is specifically trying to breed ferrochemy out yes. of the people because it's a genetic thing and so they keep it hidden yep and they try and get people who um can pass it on to be a part of the yep. breeding program so that it can so that he's still mm -hmm. doing it anyway yeah um what so the so he's he's still mm -hmm. they're still getting yeah. Ferrochemists. Or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I yeah. said it weirdly. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, yeah. It's like, you know, sort of. So it's like she has this, like. So so it's like. It's this interesting thing because it's not just this thing of, like, oh, she's had this horrible thing happen to her. Yeah. And it's just sort of like. She's so strong to have endured that she's been through all this like hardship yeah. and she's just sort of like this victim of this thing and it's like those things are all like true but yeah. also there's sort of like this element this aspect of like agency in terms of like doing this thing going through this thing for yeah. the purpose of a greater cause yeah. and, and not just sort of being like you know she went through something it's like it's not like a you know, so it's sort of just, like, a, th a thing just to make her have a tragic yep. backstory, yep. in a sense. Like, it's not just sort of, like, and, and here's this terrible thing that happened. Because it's, like, th there is sort of stuff like that in the sense of, like, you know, the, 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 um, Sazed being a eunuch is sort of portrayed as, like, this, like, bad thing that's happened to him. Yeah. Which, like, it is. Because it's, like, this thing that happens sort of without your consent yeah, yeah, yeah. and whatnot. But it's, like, it's not super like lingered on or dwelt on right um and you know it's like um and, and with this it's like we get a little bit of like talking about it and you know we obviously don't get into a lot of like specific detail but it's like yes it's this thing but it's also like you know the 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 synod and her are like intentionally doing yep. this thing so it's like she has this choice but also yeah it's like making the best out of a bad situation yep. And sort of, like, having that kind of, like, you know, uh, wrinkle to it, that sort of, like, complication to it is, is interesting. You know, she's not just, like, uh, you, you know, because sometimes, sometimes I feel, because people are like, oh, they're not just a victim. And I, and I have, like, a yeah. weird feeling about that, because it's like, <laughs> you know, being a victim of these yeah. sorts of things doesn't make you, like, lesser. Yeah. And, you know, this idea, it's like, oh, you're not, you're not a victim of this thing, you're a survivor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. it's like, this, like, obviously, like, there's people who do have, like, feelings about this yeah. and who would prefer to be talked about in one way or the yeah. other. Yeah, but it's yeah, like, yeah. This, this idea that because you've been a victim of something bad, that that, like, we need to not use the word victim because it, like, 
makes you out to be worse yeah you know it's like which it shouldn't have that like connotation or anything right you know where it's like oh you know it's like i'm not just a victim and it's like no like you know you are more than that obviously you know there's more to you than just that but (laughs) the sort of weird ways in which people be like oh i'm glad that this person's not just a victim in this story and it's like well but like sometimes the story is about like being a victim or being powerless or like you know it's like to me one of the things because it always has to come back to one piece (laughs) is that like the sort of innocent people in one piece are not like blamed for being victims of the horrible circumstances that they're in like the people of dressrosa are like under this right horrible but there's not the sense of it's like well why don't they just overthrow him you're a bunch of weak people for not overthrowing doflamingo or whatever you know it's like this is a group of people who are being subjected to something terrible and some people are going to stand up and fight, but some people are just going to get crushed under yep. it. And that's a tragedy, not something that we should be like, you know, uh, admonishing these people for not being able to withstand yep. the horrible situations that they've been put under. Right. You know, I think yep. about like the end of Wano and like, yeah. you know, liberating the people and it's not like, well, why didn't they just liberate themselves, right. damn it? And like, right. they are in the sense of it's like the people who they've yep. got to come fight with them, you know, these people of Wano coming with them to help yep. fight this fight and we need and all like, of them. And like, they wouldn't have been there if not for the people of Wano mm-hmm. going to get help, you know? Exactly. Like, you know, it's, it's... they were specifically brought in to help with this. Mm-hmm. They didn't just, you know. Yep. It's like everyone's fighting their own battle. Yep and and like you know we see that and we get that and it's like you know all the 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 terrorist people everyone's fighting their own battle and they're sort of like trying to keep their culture alive and in whatever way that they can yep and so it's like you know you subject yourself to something horrible but for the 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 sake of like sort of like she's someone who's had to sacrifice so much for the sake of like the people like her people and so Sazed and how he sort of feels like selfish. Yep. Yeah. Especially to, yeah, to, <clears throat> to, to, to her. Because it's, it's like, but I've, I've done so much and it's mm-hmm. like, you know. You know, it's like he, it's like he did save he, them. Yep. But, you know, it sort of feels like the selfish, like, oh, you didn't follow yep. the orders that you were supposed to, to like, you know, and, but, but, but she did. Yeah. And she had to go through all of this and she did it for this reason that yep. was like, you know, for the greater good. And so she's had to deal with all this like self sacrifice and stuff yeah and so it's like it, it, it sort of adds a layer to her and Sazed's relationship in terms of like their different stories yeah. of like how they came to be where they are yep. and sort of like why yep. they kind of view the synod and the this whole situation the yep. way that they do you yep. know she's very like you gotta take one for the team and you it's like you you're out here being selfish, trying to do your own thing yep. instead of listening to the the synod and, and like working for the greater good in that yep. sense. You know, you're sort of putting yourself above them, yep. while you know she's very much not done that. Yeah. And but but you know, yeah. Saza did actually help <laughs> free yep. their people. Yeah. So then there's that tension of like, well, I mean, he did great. Mm-hmm. He did a great thing. So yep. it's, you know, how right. can I even blame him? Mm-hmm. You know, it's like the synod's doing the best that they can, but right. also they have this idea of like, well, we shouldn't be the ones to actually like, because because they have well, to keep themselves safe. Yeah, they were trying to protect themselves. Like it makes so it, it's like don't know. cause trouble. Right. Yep. And... I mean, it's the same. Like honestly, as the Chandra. Like mm-hmm. they 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 couldn't be really yep. like seen with the uh, with humans, and it's mm-hmm. like I mean they're they're also humans, but like. They right. have this this kind of like different power, mm-hmm. and it's it's like you know, and, and and also it's like with the ska, it's like oh we can't do anything because we don't have any sort of like because we're trying to keep ourselves yep. safe and alive. Yep. You know, it's like that. That's how each of these groups is in the face of the final empire, yep. and that's part of like, and they're kept like very separate, mm-hmm. and like and like the nobles too. Honestly, like they're not right. great, but like they have their own kind of. You know, it's like the these kinds of sort of like you know like empire and like these like yeah. fascistic and like the obligators the mm-hmm. obligators are se- kept separate the steel yep. inquisitors are kept separate the you know like there yep. is very uh, having a society where you take these different groups of people and keep them separate and have them like 
you know, it's like, in, in the end, the real common enemy is the Lord Ruler. Right. But what we do is we take all these people and we separate yep. them out and we keep them... And we put them against each other. Yeah, you put them against each other. It's like... And each, over each other, you know. Yep, each of you are trying to survive individually. Yep. <clears throat> and, like, as groups, but as individual groups. Yep. And so it's like, you know, the the, the ways in which you just sort of, like, have to split up people and, and, and be like, you know... It, it mirrors a lot of, like, real-world political stuff yep. and, and tensions people have about, like, you know, um, getting different, gr- like, I- intersectionality. Yep. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, You know, this idea of, like, you know, intersectionality and being, like, you know, this isn't just about, like, you know, women or queerness right. or race, but, like, all these things and how they all combine, yep. how they all interact and the ways in which, like, you know, people try and sort of, like pit groups against each other it's like race as a means of dividing humans into this group is good this group is bad and sort of instead of being like well actually a lot of poor white and black people have more in common than they do separate but if you can convince one group that they're better than the other group and have them sort of fight against each other rather than work together all sides down exactly you know it's like if if the ska and the terrorist people don't have this like realize that they have this like common yep. goal yeah, yeah, yeah they're not willing to sort of work together and then also it's like are the ska and the nobility able to work together right. to overthrow the lord ruler because right. they have like that massive mm-hmm. uh, like power difference where right. it's like they're surviving on a different mm-hmm. level right like it's you like know. N- none of them can do anything to stop the Lord Ruler. And right. Like, even if they don't like the system that the Lord Ruler has built, like Ellen, what's yep. Ellen supposed to do to stop the Lord Ruler? If, if things would have stayed the same, mm-hmm. Lord Ruler didn't go. Because Ellen's whole thing was that mm-hmm. when his generation got in power, they were going to make change. If that would have happened, there's he would have been killed. Yeah, would have he would have immediately been executed or or right. had like, to had to do what he had to do. To not mm. be fucking executed. Right, yeah. It's one of those things, it's like, if him and his group are like, oh, well, we'll convince the Lord Ruler to do things, like, differently and better. Right. Like, 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 well, how? how you right. are, you know? You it's know. Like, you're either going to have to go behind his back, and then he's going to end up killing you. Yep. Or you're going to have to try and convince him and realize that that is impossible. Yeah. And that you're not going to, like, be able to, like, change his mind or whatever. Yeah. And, you know, at a certain point, he gets a notice and kills you for trying to do that. Yeah. You know, it's like... Or even just, like... Well, because he kills, like, dissenter, Like, like mm-hmm. people who, like, read, like, dissenting books. So, yeah. like, I mean, he was already... Like, Ellen was already kind of... Like, in a dangerous it, spot. Yes. In that sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's <laughs> like... Because like, he would have died from just, like, Shane Larry. Seriously. <laughs> if, yeah. if it hadn't been for all yeah, this yeah, sort of yeah. stuff. Yeah. But, yeah, so it's, like... It's interesting because it's, like... It's not just about how, like, okay, y'all are on... Like, you know, in this sort of, like, stratified social order. It's like, y'all are on the bottom, but y'all are in different groups on the bottom, so you're fighting with each other to try and get up a a level. And these people are on different levels, and so they're fighting to keep you down and themselves up while trying... Well, like, but don't fight too hard to go up <laughs> yep. because, you know, it's like yep. you, you get conflict that way and like you get like vertical and lateral yep. sort of conflict yep. in these kinds of like stratified systems. And it's like newsflash. It's what you know, yep. it's like. It, it, that's that's relevant to today, too. <laughs> it's not just fantasy. It's reality. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know, and, and that's what makes all of this so like you know good and fun to read it's like you know it's like it's real (laughs) yeah and that's what we talk about when we say like it feels real you know uh but yeah that's that's a lot of my sort of i I don't have a lot of notes for chapter 30 but it's a really good chapter (laughs) you have anything else um no it's just the just been this uh Mm -hmm. tendril story and everything yep um yep yeah, so we can go to 31. Alrighty. Chapter 31. And and this, and chapter 31 has uh, e- even more of this stuff that I was talking about because we get uh, Phylon Frendu. Yeah. <laughs> Frendu, who is like, I was never really Ska. Yeah. They, they called me Ska, but I'm yeah. not really Ska. I'm a merchant. Yeah. Ska make Ska things. Ska things or grew things. Phylon sold things. Mm-hmm. Which I... It's such a just interesting... Like, the mm-hmm. way they, they kind of have, like, the merchant class versus yep. kind of, like, the other Ska. Like, it's... Mm-hmm. 
again, it's it's like <laughs> <laughs> it, it's interesting because like a mirror is like a bunch of things. Yeah. You know, the sort of like the 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 rise of the merchant class with the fall of the sort of noble class yes. is like a very much like a, a real world sort of thing. You know, um, people talk about like uh, you know the, the nouveau riche, the like. Uh, was it uh land rich yeah uh, cash poor yep. yeah for yeah, the yeah. nobility and then like the merchant class being rich but not having titles and lands yep. and like intermarrying between them during sort of like periods of time you know it's like the shift of from the nobility to the merchant class yeah. but also the ways in which it's like this guy and like the sort of the merchants in general more side with the side of the sort of you know fascistic yep. uh religious authoritarian kinds of government than they do with the sort of like thing that ellen's trying yep. to do yeah you know it's like because they're all about money which is power right yep. it's like money yep. is power and so they go where the power is yep. and so if someone is like oh you know because because also violence like i don't want to be king yes <laughs> i want someone else to be king yep. and i just want to make profit <laughs> you know which is which is interesting in the way in which he's like again it's part of that whole like uh there, there there's some sort of like phrase that i've heard or it's like when education isn't elevation or liberation something like that then you know the dream of the oppressed is to become the oppressor yeah you know it's like he's going from he's trying to go from ska to nobility yes. rather than understanding that like there shouldn't be ska versus nobility right. he's like no i want what they have yep. not i want better for for, for the ska yes. because i'm not ska i'm yep. not really ska yep. i know. never was i never was actually and it's like you know the certain like, kind they of... needed me they mm -hmm. came to me yep you know <laughs> when i was still ska so was mm -hmm. i really you so know? was i really ska you know and he like gives himself this like different name yep. you know like violin and his name was Lynn. Mm -hmm. His name was Lynn, which makes me think of, um, isn't that, uh, in Cradle? Uh, his name's Lyndon, but Lyndon. yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Don't, yeah. don't they call him Lynn sometimes? They never call him Lynn. They don't? Wow. I've, yeah, they always, it's always Lyndon. It's always Lyndon? Yeah, I guess it's just I heard Lyndon and then yep. I just made the connection. Yeah. But yeah, it's, it's, it's interesting, you know, it's like, that it happens sometimes. It's like, you know, when, when someone's like, no, 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 no. You're, like, you're trying to convince them. It's like, no, but like, <laughs> it, it makes you think of like, um, it's not the same because this guy actually has like a business and stuff. Um, but like, you know, like the hustle culture people yep. who are like, you know, it's like, aren't you tired of being poor? Like scam other people yep. and get a Ferrari yep. <laughs> essentially. Yep. It's like, no, that's not the point. It's like, it's about like getting yourself ahead rather than like, you know, actually helping change yep. the system to be better. And so it's so interesting that we're, like, in this guy's head. Yes. And we yep. get to, like, see from his perspective. And he's the one who is, like, setting up this vote to get Ellen out. Yep. Which they they talked before in one of these chapters about, like, oh, it's not a coincidence that, like, I got fucking ousted right now. I think that this has something to do with, like, Setter Straff. Right. Uh, which... <laughs> <laughs> is relevant in this chapter <laughs> because my two notes are Phylum uh, Frandu led the vote against Ellen and Set's fucking here? Yep, yep. <laughs> Cause like Ellen shows up and it's like we're gonna have like a meeting it's like the meeting's happening and Ellen shows up and he's like you know like I'm not gonna stand here and try and like tell you that I should be king. One more thing. I just really like the the, the beginning mm -hmm. when he's when he's like so no one knows how to run this meeting. Mm -hmm. I got to do it even though <laughs> even, like even... You, you deposed me and I'm the only one who knows how to run this thing. <laughs> yep. Yeah, but he's just like so who who's who's the chancellor? And it's like the the what? Did <laughs> no one read this. Yep, it's just like <laughs> Y'all don't have any fucking idea what you're doing. He's like, listen, we gotta worry about the armies and keeping people safe. It's yep. not about whether I should be fucking king or not. Yep. We got other shit to worry about, okay? Yep. And it's like... Which is a good... That's a, that's a great thing mm -hmm. that, you know... I love so much of this stuff, like, seeing Ellen yeah. doing all this sort of political stuff in the way in which he's, like, being, like, using his sort of, like... He's, he's doing his thing. He's like... I, I thought you would enjoy this. A, a lot a lot of people mm -hmm. uh, 
this is either like people's favorites or least favorite because yeah it, and it depends on how you feel about all the political stuff like we really enjoy it yeah i've definitely watched quite a few podcasts where they're just like not feeling it in this section yeah are they like it's boring kind of yeah yeah and they don't have much to talk about yeah <laughs> yeah yeah because like I, i'm like i, I can some imagine. of them do but you know yeah no no it's like it's like i imagine people are probably either like it's boring or they're like ellen should just fucking do the you know yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> and we, which is of course you know counter to the whole point yeah, of the thing. Because yeah, yeah. um, <laughs> people will always be like, why don't they just assert absolute authority yep, over people? Yep. You know, those people are always, like, out there. You know? It's like, because, you know, you're right, so you should just fucking make them. Yep, yep. Um, but no, like, Ellen is, like, successfully, like, using his whole, like, honor and yep. shit. You know, yep. where it's like... No, like, I'm not gonna try and, like, win you over, because it's like, you know, the people are watching. Yeah. And, like, and, and you know, Philo's like, why the, do these ska get to, like, watch or whatever? But it's like, you know, and, and was it Penrod? Is, is yeah. Is the guy that he, like, yeah. nominates as chancellor, and he's like, you know, who, who should, um, be, like, nominated as king, and Penrod yeah. nominates, um, uh, it's like someone nominates Penrod to be king, and then Penrod nominates Ellen to be king, <laughs> and then Phylon stands up and is like, and they're like, "Oh, I had fucking nominate yourself to be king." And he's like, "No, Set should be king," and then Set yep. just like come yep. up, appears in the audience, and they're like, "What the fuck?" <laughs> and I was straight up saying, "Kill him! Kill him right now, Vin! Kill him, Vin! Kill him right now! He's right here! He's right here! Just kill him, Vin!" <laughs> <laughs> uh, but the, and, and 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 I do like the like, I mean you've just delivered yourself to us yep. like what sh- shouldn't we just <laughs> kill you? Uh, but see I don't know how much is like in this chapter and how much is in the next chapter because I know that like it does carry over into the next chapter. Um, but when Seth showed up, I'm like, just kill him. He's right here. <laughs> he was like, what are you gonna do? Kill me? <laughs> Then, then you know they'll just fucking attack. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and, yeah, and and I'm like, yeah, no, we should do that. Actually, we should just kill him, and they'll attack, and then <laughs> the other army will. But but maybe, but maybe that's part of Set and Strap having an alliance. Actually, yeah, because like I mean, they can't do like one after another like they they, they, they yeah. think they could probably take set's army by mm-hmm. themselves but like yeah. not yeah no but it's like yeah let set's army try and attack and then straff's army will attack set's army from the back is yeah, the whole yeah. thing and then like and then yeah you would just have to hope that he would attack from the back you know yeah and because that's sort of like the whole thing but and so that's part of why i'm like oh maybe that's why they do actually have a like an alliance yeah, yeah, of some yeah. sort and so it's like no like if he does die then they'll attack and and it's like yeah and then i'll let them fight yeah and then once they're weak i come in and and take over afterward yeah. it's yeah. the same plan but you know from straff's perspective yeah. rather than theirs yep and so it's like yeah because they all have the same thing to work with mm-hmm. they all have the same board Yep. You know. <laughs> yep. And then there's this coloss over there. Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah. The only thing that that Luthadel has that the others don't is the wall. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know. <laughs> which which is big, yep. but it's also like you know it's, yep. it's sort of the big thing that they have because yep. they don't have the same kind of like manpower. Yep. They and stuff. they just they have the fortified. Uh, the fortified yep. position. Yep. Yeah, and I was like, kill him, <laughs> please, <laughs> just kill him. Um. And and I don't remember. Yeah. And he seemed to be enjoying it. Set just chilling. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, yeah. Is that in chapter thirty-two? Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, because we were in chapter thirty-one. Oh, yeah, yeah. So it's like, because I, I, like, yeah, because we're talking about set. Yeah. Yeah, because like set shows up and then like it, it really sort of like the, these two chapters. Yeah, they're like, they're pretty. Uh... Yeah. So so we can go ahead and just kind of say like. This is the end of chapter 31. Yeah. This is the beginning of chapter 32. <laughs> Set's here. Set's here. Wow. I got... Set's got different style. Because <laughs> they, they describe yeah. Set as having, like, a different style. Yeah. Because he was, like, a sort of uh, a noble... He was a, an outer noble. Yep, yeah, he was an outer noble. He wasn't, like, a Luthadel noble. And yep. so he has, like, a different style. Yep. And also it's, like... They describe as, like, you know, out... Yeah, it's like the the final empire comprises a lot of different cultures yep. actually 
you know, because it's like, yeah, Luthadel is like the center, but like, so yep. once you get like away from there, it's like a bunch of different, like tiny Lord rulers yep. controlling their own little places. And so Set just has like this different kind of like, like a, like a different style literally, but also a different style in terms of like the way that yep. he like does politics yep. and like he's used to sort of getting his way in a different kind of a way. Yep. And I really like, like, Set Set is an interesting like Fallout antagonist. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Yep. He, I I got you. He he because he has a philosophy. Yep. Where he's like he, he's talking about promises. Yeah. He's like I'm threatening you. <laughs> it's like it's like a threat is just a promise turned on its head. <laughs> it's like a bribe is also just a promise turned on its head. <laughs> it's like it's like I'm just being honest. Like. Yep. Yeah, I'm threatening you, and I'm bribing you. I'm just, like, I'm yep. promising you yep. something good. Isn't that not what you're also doing? Promising something good in the end? You know? Are you not threatening the people? Yep, yep. <laughs> you know? <laughs> it, it, it's very interesting. I, I like, you know, it's like, well, I don't agree with Set. I like hearing his sort of position and that he has, yep. like, position. And also, I'm curious about <laughs> Set's ability to walk. Got you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because... Because Vin is like... He can walk. He can walk. He's pretending. And yep. I'm like, I'm primed to trust Vin yep. on these kinds of things. But I'm also like, I don't know, some, something about it. Yeah. The way it was just kind of brought up. And then we're like, no, he can't walk. And it's like, that, it's a cover story. When yeah. I'm like, what's going on here? Like, yeah. I, I don't know what the deal with that's going to end up yeah. being. I'm just like, oh, that's something. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, so yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll sort of see... What comes of that, that he, like, can't walk, and or, but Vin thinks that he can, it's like, oh, he's a Mistborn, he must be, but it's like, does he just think he's a Mistborn because he has a lot of confidence? Yeah, yeah, You know? Yeah, yeah. And it's just like, is that just sort of Vin's weird... Yeah, because he weird, just, like, showed up. Vin's weird prejudice, and I'm like, we're just gonna yeah. let this guy <laughs> show up and assert himself? He's like, let me just, like, have a place. <laughs> like, I'll just set up in one of the keeps with, like, I don't know, 5,000 yeah. people? No, how about 1,000 people? <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. Well, because he, like, has relationships with other members of the council, so it's like... Yeah. Because they mm -hmm. have him as, you know... Right, because they were like, because like Penrod's like, we were gonna like, we would have already like given the city over to him earlier if you hadn't like done this stuff to keep us from doing it. So it's like, the idea of handing the city over to him isn't really that like out of the question, yeah. actually. We were already like kind of thinking about it. Because Penrod's like, is describes like, he's like a good person, but also he's like, you know, Ellen, you're an idealist. Yeah. And, like, the, the reality of the situation is that, like, Set's better than Straff. Yeah. And is probably just our best option. But but I was like, no, we could do this. Yeah. We can... Yeah. And it's like, well, you've been convincing the crew. Yeah. But not the council. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And, yeah. and you haven't been, like, doing that kind of work yeah. with the council. And so it's like, Set can just kind of waltz in here. Yeah. And take over in a way that's, like, really... It's wild. Yep. I was like, like, <laughs> when Seth just shows up, I'm like, the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> Excuse me? Yeah. I was like, so we're ending with chapter 31. No, we're ending at chapter 33. Oh, we actually have a couple more chapters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, there, there's a cliffhanger to end our little <laughs> reading section on. Um, but it, it's, it's... I was really thrown off. I was not expecting that. I truly was not expecting that. Like, I never would have guessed. Yep, yep. It would not have been on my bingo <laughs> cheat. Um, but yeah, it's such just fucking here. Yep. And, yeah, and he's like, yeah, I would like to meet with y'all. Um, mm -hmm. One on one. Yep. Over the course of some yep. like, bribes. Yes. Exactly. Yep. <laughs> it's, it's wild. Because again, it's yeah, like. Yeah, he's, he's super interesting. Because it's like, they're both honest in this weird sort of way. Like, yep. Ellen's honest. Mm -hmm. And like, but like, honestly, good. And yep. set is just like, I'm, I'm honestly a tyrant. But yep. like, and, and the best you got. <laughs> um, it's crazy. It's he, he's so interesting. Yeah, he's a, he's an interesting uh, character. Mm -hmm. And then we get um his like son, who's Jordan, G N E O R N D I N. <laughs> Um, he, he's there at, like, sort of, like, the end of the chapter, I think. Um, and, 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 like, I heard that name, 
And then I'm like, how is this spelled? And I'm like, this is how it's spelled? Yeah, it's yeah. like... Wild. Njordan? G-N-E-O-R-N-D-I-N. Mm-hmm. Wild. Yeah, like, truly what a fucked up name. <laughs> um, oh, yeah, and they're like... Um, my sister, the one you kidnapped, nope. she's talking about Alvarez. It's like, that's not how that happens. It's like, well, either way, we just need to fucking talk about it. It's like, you need to go talk to Set, even if it's not about, like, you just need to go talk to yeah, Set. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I'll meet with him. Yeah. Dinner in a week. Dinner in a week. Yeah, and 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 that really like those two chapters. I don't have a ton of notes. Yeah. But I was just like floored. Yeah. <laughs> I was just like, what the hell? I can't believe that this is what we're doing now. <laughs> Um, yeah, I, 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 I wish I had, like, more to say, honestly. It just, like, it just threw me so much that, like, I don't even know how to, like, react to, like, Set being there. Yep. Like, it feels a little, like, in some ways I'm like, yes, this makes sense, and in other ways I'm like, you just gotta let him <laughs> walk in here and, yep. like, do yep. shit. But I'm like, no, you gotta be, like, cautious and stuff, but, yep. like, you, you just let this guy fucking... <laughs> Walk I mean, here? they definitely thought about it. They're like, oh yeah, no. and then it's like, okay, there's actually we actually yeah, can't do that. And, and that truly is the thing. It's like I appreciate that they are like, uh, you just kind of handed yourself yeah. to us, but it's like he just it's fucking... like no, I didn't just come in here like mm-hmm. with nothing. Like I'm not just gonna, you know, like right. I there's. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's the same thing with Ellen when he went to visit Straff. Like, yep. right, he went straight there and he had yep. had stuff to make sure he could get out. You know. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. <laughs> So. Yep, 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 yep. Uh, it, it's, it's wild. Yeah. It, it, I was not, I was not expecting it. And that, that, that was, like, one of the most, like, unexpected things that's, like, happened so far for me. Do we have anything else for chapter 32? Uh, I don't think so. Alrighty. Chapter 33. That, that, this is the one where my first note is that Vin's got Messiah Syndrome. Got you. <laughs> Uh, what what does it like kind of start with? Um, she's just excited to be studying. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Did she honestly it... think that might be her? It sounded ridiculous when she considered it. Yet she heard the thumping in her head, saw the spirits in the mists. Yeah, so so I was like, she has Messiah syndrome. See, because it reminds me of um, uh, the the this is like series by esoterica this channel esoterica has a series on like jewish mysticism and like kind of later on in like the these series of videos he talks about this guy shabbatai z shabbatai z something like that i'm not good enough with with that kind of name but he was this guy who like a, like a lot of people thought was the messiah back in the time that he lived mm-hmm. which was like during i think during some of the time of like the, the like muslim like uh occupation of jerusalem maybe yeah. I, I don't remember exactly when it was but it's like sort of one of the most recent yeah. like and, and like people were like really like no i think that this guy's like the messiah actually and he had these like things about him where he like went to this guy who was like a Kabbalist to be like just just tell me that I'm not the Messiah yeah. and then the guy was like I hate to say it but I think I, I think that you're just the <laughs> Messiah actually because there was something about like because like he, he was named Shabbatai because he was born on on the Sabbath yeah. on Shabbat and that's like a part of the whole like messianic like you know like the things that will be true about the Messiah yeah. that's like one of them or something um, and so it's, like, he just, like, had these, like, things, and he would, like, get into these, like, you know, sort of altered states, these, like, ecstatic states and whatnot. Like, like, um, the guy Esoterica, who, who's, like, his, like, actual name, I can't remember, um, he's, like, you know, nowadays we would probably describe him as being, like, you know, bipolar or, yeah. like, manic depressive. And that, like, during these, like, manic episodes, he's, like, I'm the Messiah. And during these depressive episodes, he's, like, going to this guy being, like, please just tell me that I'm not the Messiah. Yeah, yeah. Because it's, like, tearing me up. And then, like, I really think that I'm, like, maybe the Messiah. But, like, this can't be true. (laughs) And it kind of reminds me of, like, Vin. Yeah. And the whole thing about, like, the signs. Like, like, the birthmark on his arm. And, like, everyone really thought. (laughs) Yep. And and that guy is, like, his story is, like, super interesting. Like, watching, like, those videos where it's, like like a bunch like people like really really thought that it was him yeah like they really thought that it was going to be him he like went up to like he ends up getting like brought to like you know like 
the, the people in charge, like, you know, because being, like, ruled by the Muslims at this point, they're yeah. just like, okay, uh, if you're the Messiah, we're, we're, we got a bunch of archers, they're gonna shoot arrows at you, and if you survive, then you're the Messiah, and if not, then just, like, convert, and he's like, not the Messiah, yeah. I'm gonna convert, yeah. and then people were like, oh, he's, he's like... He's gonna, like, take the system down from the inside. Because he was given sort of, like, a a title, but, like, a meaningless sort of, like, position, but, like, a place where he's sort of, like, just kind of taken care of by gotcha. the court and given kind of, like, a meaningless position and title. People like him. We're not gonna kill him. Yeah. But he's just gonna... You just sit here. You can live comfortably and yeah. just stop being weird and acting like you're the messiah yeah and then people were like he's gonna take the system down from the inside and people would go and talk to him and he was like no 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 and then she was like well maybe and they're like <laughs> stop you're exiled and he's like okay and he like got exiled and like some people still like like i don't remember like the whole story yeah. of it, but the thing that i always remember is that like there's like this story where it's like he's like he's in exile with this with this woman, like his wife or whatever, and like people would still come and like visit him and like say that he's the Messiah and whatnot. And like there's a story where he's like walking on this like beach with them, um, and like and and he says to them like, "How long will you follow me out until that rock pass there? How long will you keep following me?" Saying that I'm the Messiah. Yeah. <laughs> like, and just like. You gotta, you gotta let it go. Yeah. <laughs> like it, it didn't happen. I'm not the guy. How, how long, how long will you keep following yeah. me like this? Um, and it's just super interesting because it's like, like so much closer to modern day yeah. and having like more sort of like documentation yep. than like, you know, <laughs> Christ, <laughs> right? <laughs> than like. Jesus, and so it's, like, it's so interesting to, like, have this sort of, like, example. It's, like, you know, because, like, there were people who were, like, Shabbatists, who, who, like, had a sort of a religion around him, but it was, like, suppressed, and that there's, like, because he said that, like, he had, because, like, he had, like, a class where someone was, like, yeah, no, like, you're talking about this guy, and, like, I, like, it's not me, but, like, my parents, they, Mm. they, like, believed, and, like, there were, like, people who, like, you know, sort of, like, still sort of, like, hold on to it, despite it sort of being, like, suppressed in this area, like, in, like, Turkey or something like that, you know, um, I don't remember where exactly it was, but, like, you know, it's, like, yeah, no, it's, like, there there were, like, (laughs) it's, like, not me, but, like, my parents, grandparents or whatever, like, they were, like, Shabbatists or whatever, and that, like, you know, it's, like, what if, what if they had gone on to become Christianity? Yeah, right, right, <laughs> You know, right, essentially, right. It, and it's super, like, interesting, and so, like, Vin being, like, like, th- this is ridiculous, but, like, but I can hear the yeah, thumping, I yeah. hear the pulse, yeah. <laughs> and I'm just, like, she's got, she's got Messiah syndrome, yeah. uh, and she talks with Orser about Condor religion. Yeah. I think she's hearing it without burning bronze Mm -hmm. at this point yeah because it's not because like i know that one point she said like i can because like she says to like sazed i think that she could like hear when she was doing alamancy or whatever but like she could maybe also be hearing it without i I don't know i just you know um but but she does talk with orser it's like do the conjure have a religion yeah (laughs) because because she's talking with him about like the prophecies and and yeah because they have this whole interesting conversation about like the nature of prophecy yeah and it's like prophecies are like a hope not necessarily like a prediction yeah which is also something that like uh, esoterica kind of like, talks about and talking about like um in jewish mysticism the idea of um it's like apocalypticism which like you know we think of the apocalypse as like the end of the world yeah and it's, like, for them, being an apocalyptic Jew was about, like, like this great change was going to come. Yeah. You know, it's, like, um, you know, it's, like, th- things are going to change. You know, it's not necessarily specifically about the Messiah coming, yeah. but just about, like, you know, like, you know, the Roman Empire is going to get overthrown. Yeah. <laughs> and, yeah, and stuff yeah. like that. You know, the people who are subjugating us will, will be overthrown, which is very sort of um, in line with, like, the Chandra. Yeah. Because he talks yeah, about, yeah. like... <laughs> it's like in the prophecies like it's like 
that they'll be free and it's like it's like and 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 the human subjugated no actually they're all dead yeah yeah <laughs> the prophecies they're all dead it's like you kill them no we don't kill them like in in our prophecies we're still loyal to the contract to the end which is so interesting it's like no we we're, like we're not going to kill them because we're better than that. They're, they're good because it's because that's also a thing with like a lot of the apocalyptic stuff. It's not that we yep. are going to go and kill them. God's going to kill them. Yeah, they will receive divine retribution. Like we are holy and just, and we will get our deserved reward. Yeah, they will be punished for the things that they have done to us. And so it's never about like us rising up and killing them so much as it's about like divine retribution. Um, in this sort of, like, apocalyptic thing. And I could be wrong, because I could be misremembering. It's been a while since I've watched these videos. Yeah. But, um, yeah, this whole chapter <laughs> reminded me a lot about yeah, that yeah, kind of I stuff. Yeah, I like it. And, and, and especially because it's, like, again, this is coming from someone who is religious. Yes. Yeah, 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 From, from, um, Sanderson, yep. who, who is Mormon, and that is important to him, talking about, you know, prophecy, it's not necessarily yes. about literally being mystically true yep. it's about like hope for the people yeah and about like you know um the, you know, it's like it's vague on purpose so that there's always like hope yes that yeah, like yeah, something yeah. good will come eventually and it's like it just reminds me so much of like that that conversation that yeah they're metaphors expressions of hope yep that that this this guy has um because like this guy is esoterica he's like i think he's like in detroit or something he's like some guy in detroit who's like a professor of like religious like he like i think he is jewish yeah and also is like you know some sort of like professor and so like he has like these videos talking about religion in this very like scholarly sort of way but i do believe he is like actually like jewish so this yeah. isn't just yeah, like yeah, yeah. <laughs> so when, I, when i say these things about like prophecy yep. and yeah, hope yeah, yeah, and sort yeah, of yeah. stuff like you know i like while i myself do come at these things from a sort of like atheist perspective right. like a non-religious perspective you know this other person <laughs> yep. yeah, who, yeah, who yeah, i'm yeah. like talking about is not necessarily not, yeah, yeah, yeah. um although i don't know like the full nature of his religious beliefs or whatnot yeah. but um uh yeah it's just all, the, all this stuff is it's so yep. interesting it's, it's it's great um vin's thinking like saza and ellen she has like a bit where she's like you know, like because she has some bit where she like says something and she's like, the the way I phrased it was very like Sazed or Ellen, um, which is like you know, uh, oh yeah, because it's talking about like, well, if the Chandra have a religion, that means that like you know the the uh, Lord Ruler's religious whatever was not absolute or whatever. And it's like, what did I just say? Yeah, <laughs> you know, it's like yeah. it was not absolute. Or yeah, <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, and the the Chandra like the Kolos. That that was a, another part of this. So like we have this sort of like kinship with the Kolos, and like you know we're, we're we're both sort of like enslaved, and and I think you said that like in the prophecies it's sometimes like Kolos who like kill. It's like oh, it's like humanity like kills themselves, and yeah, also Kolos uh, are maybe involved. It's um, how do we die off? The Chandra kill us. Of course not, Ursula said. We honor our contract, even in religion. The stories say that you'll kill yourselves off. You're a ruin, after all, while the chandra of our preserva are of preservation. Right. You're supposed to destroy the world, I believe, using the coloss as your pawns. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You actually sound sorry for them. Mm-hmm. The chandra tend to think well of coloss, mistress. Yeah. There's a bond between us. Uh, we both understand what it is like to be slaves. We are both outsiders uh, to the culture of the final empire. We both... He broke off. And that's the... And that bit. I'm like, I'm so curious. Like, there's an implied connection between them. It's like, and we both... And I'm like, where are the people's skin? <laughs> that's my immediate... Yeah. We both, where are the people's skin? We both are created in some way. Yeah, are, yeah. What's What's your other connection that you don't want to talk about? Because I'm like... I want to know more about the Coloss and about the Chandra. <laughs> yep, 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 yep. Um, and uh, and then oh yeah, and then Dachshun. Uh, we 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 have the conversation between Vin and Dachshun. Uh, because I was I was like, because she talks about how like Dachshun has been less 
sort of himself in a way. Yeah. It's like, it's funny because it's like, she, he enjoyed being the straight man to Kelsier's yes. like nonsense, but he's been less sort of like jovial in a way. Yeah. It's like he's, he's, he's always been serious, but there's always been this like subtle sort of like, he enjoys, you know, sort of like the, the, the silly stuff with like the crew banter and like, him and Breeze getting on each other's nerves, and yeah. like you know, but he's been a little bit like sort of reserved, a little bit more detached yeah. and whatnot, and so that's got her sort of like worried. And I, and I have Dachshund has been generally less present, hasn't he? <laughs> yeah, yeah. In, in the story, um, and and then my other note is just hopefully Dachshund is still real. I really hope because like I was like during this whole thing, I'm like. It's like, I really want Dachshund to be yeah, real. And, yeah. and she's like, hey, do you remember that conversation that we had yeah, yeah. back before? And it's like, which one? It's like, yeah. And, and, and like, he remembers all these, like, specific details about, like, what they had talked about. And, like, he just really seemed to be Dachshund. And they have, yeah. like, a really, like, interesting and good conversation about, like, you know, like, how Dachshund's, like, feelings have changed and how yeah. he feels. And he's like, but he also has this kind of like guilt almost where he's like if i admit that like they're just people and and yes. then i have to think about all the stuff that i've done to them yep. and i don't yep. <laughs> want to do that and also like i don't feel bad yep yep <laughs> and it's like and like i don't blame him for not no. feeling bad like mm -hmm. <laughs> it's like truly it's like you know dachshund no one's perfect <laughs> yeah and i th i think he honestly feels more bad that he doesn't feel bad, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah, <laughs> like yeah, that's yeah, kind yeah, of yeah. the guilt. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, I that makes sense. It's like yeah, that yeah, I yeah. don't feel this way. Right. Yep. And and it's interesting. Yeah. He's like, like, listen, we get along as well as we can. Yep. <laughs> Me and Ellen. Yep. And and I like because she's able to play the conversation in a way that's like not suspicious. Yes. But it is yeah, also yeah, like yeah. a real conversation yep. between them about like stuff that really like matters with like her and Ellen and their feelings and just and I just like getting to talk to Dachshund yep. and so I'm like yeah. I really want I really hope that this is actually Dachshund because I really like having this like conversation with him and then <laughs> um well and then we have a little conversation between Orser and Vin where Orser is like well I mean because Vin's like okay he's he's he he checks out he's not the Chandra and he's like, well, are you sure? Because, like, you know, he's like, yeah, we had a conversation, talked about, like, a conversation yeah. from before. Yeah, and it's yeah, like, yeah. oh, well, you know, we try and, like, learn those kinds of things about a person before we take over their life. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, like, you know, the, the master of the Chandra could have, like, tortured the person to get information. And, you know, we try and sort of, like, we come to them in, like, different forms. Yeah earlier to try and get information and be like yeah before you know, we even take them over yeah before we even take them over to like learn stuff that'll be useful to really like make it seem like we've always been this person yeah. so it's like it's possible and then Vince just like i'm so tired yeah, of like, it i don't want to like be this distrusting which mm -hmm. is like a big thing for her because mm -hmm. like you know <laughs> it, it's such a like it, it's so good because it really just takes all this like stuff from before yeah. where it's like she wants to trust but she doesn't feel like she can and yep. now she can but she and she's yep. like but she has but there's still this like little you know mm -hmm. this... she she has to have this yep. distrust for like a real like actual reason but yeah but, but she doesn't want to because she doesn't want to kind of because like she knows how that feels to distrust mm -hmm. everyone around you you know yeah yep. and so it's just like yeah it's so good. And then he's like, oh, I didn't realize that, like, humans actually, like, felt this way yeah. about people, which is interesting because he's like, I've only sort of seen this kind of, like, particular side of yeah. humanity. And so, like, seeing someone actually, like, care <laughs> about someone else and be, like, wanting to, like, trust them and things like that. Um, and then, and then, and then, and then, and then, Demu! <laughs> Demu's acting weird yep. and suspicious and Vin's following him and I'm like, it's him! He's the Chandra! I was right! <laughs> and it doesn't have to be... <laughs> and it doesn't have to be Dachshund. Now, this hasn't been confirmed yet. Yep. So I can't wait for the next chapter to find out that it's definitely not Demu <laughs> and to be like... <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But... But I'm like, it's Demu. It's Demu. And it, and I called it earlier. I said before, it's either Dachshund or Demu. And it was... And it's like, well, sorry, Demu. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you were, like, kind of a character a little bit. 
Uh, yeah. Yeah, I... But it's like, oh, it would make sense. Yeah. He's someone who's, like, close, but he's not... Because it's like, oh, it, replacing one of the, like, central people, that's too much. Yeah. That's too complicated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because then you have to, like, make decisions. Yeah. And you have to, like, be, like, really in it. Like, yep. someone who can... Who's there in the room... Yep. But doesn't, like, draw too much attention yeah. into being Demu, who's, like, second, yep. you know, like, one of, like, Ham's just, like, lieutenants yep. or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just, like, it's great. Um, and, he, like, he'd be at, like, just the right level. Yeah. Because it's, like, because, like, Demu's just, like, around sometimes. Yeah, 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 yeah. And, but, and also Demu was the one, because, see, part of the reason why I was, like, maybe not Demu is because Demu was the one who, like, told them initially about the bones, right? But that's also, like, kind of a... Yeah, it could be, like, a throwing off suspicion type of thing. Right, where it's, like, you know, but he was the one who, like, told us about it. And it's, like, yeah, Demu was the one who, like, came to me and be like, hey, what about these, like, bones that we found? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, say, what about these other bones? (laughs) Yeah. And that's, and that's interesting. You know, it's, like, it it was him the whole time. He was right there. I've been here the The whole time. time. The, this conjurer's name is Samurai. (laughs) Sam Reich has been replaced Sam by Reich. a Chandra. <laughs> that's the... That's the actual, uh, um, game changer, uh, lore. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, because it's like, ev- everyone's like... I say everyone. It's like, you know, people are like... Because he's... He, he's looking at his hands at the looking, ev- at the beginning of every... I've been here the whole time. Well, it's like, and I'm your host, Sam Reich. Reich. And, and he, he, looks like, at his looks hands at his hands, then, yeah. like, front, back, or, like, yeah. palm, back of the hand. And he's been doing it for like the whole season. For like the whole, for like a few, yeah, like for a bit now. And yeah. people are like, "What does it mean?" It's like it's, it's a thing because there was the, the escape been... room episode yeah. where it's like the evil Sam that like replaced him, and it's like, "Oh, the, <laughs> it's gonna come back. It's gonna be a thing." And I'm like, "Listen, I'm all for these. Like, I haven't like really gotten into yeah. like the theories and stuff, but I'm like, they're they're fun. But but to think that like a game show could yeah. spawn <laughs> theories well, like this. They keep editing in like old. Uh, home videos and mm-hmm. stuff and making these like yeah you know, yeah mm-hmm. there's a bunch of like him growing up and stuff like, right yeah yeah because th- there's been some like stuff like that in the episodes yeah. and like in the one where they're like doing the time loop yep. thing that, there's that like, was, like a, a bunch part of, of it where it's like weird like you know sort of uh, glitchy sh- stuff and, yeah and like these home yeah so it's like what does it mean yeah i don't know it's, it's wild mm-hmm. but anyway yeah demo Mm-hmm. He's a little, he's a little chondra bitch. A little, a little chondra. <laughs> or, or at least that's that's the implication right now. Uh, so yeah, that and that and that's the end of chapter thirty three. Yeah. And that and that is quite the little cliffhanger place to leave it off on. Yep. Yep. Yeah, I did. I did look mm-hmm. at this one and was like, I'm, I'll leave it off on. Yeah. On a little bit of a cliffhanger. Yep. <laughs> Uh, what does it all mean? And when are we gonna actually get to the Well of Ascension? <laughs> yeah, I showed, uh, I showed, uh, you a meme earlier, it was like, mm-hmm. uh, um... Because it was like someone was, like, doing, like, a... You were like, a, this person's been, like, doing a read-through, yeah, and, like, they yeah, haven't yeah. finished it yet, but it's like... And they're like, we're reading Well of Ascension, it's like... like <laughs> It's Where's no, this well or something like that? Yeah, it's, like, it's like, you know, starts reading Well of Ascension, you know, looks in, in the book, you know, uh, there's no Well of Ascension here. <laughs> it's like, opens book, no Well of Ascension. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's coming though. And, and Marsh, we haven't seen Marsh in forever. Yep, since like the beginning of the book. Since like the beginning of the book, when he just like fucked off yep. after like traveling with Sazed for a little bit. Yep. The fuck is up with that? <sighs> yeah. <laughs> a lot going on. There's a lot going on. Uh, but yeah, so that's the end of chapter 33. And uh, now it's the, the, the next time. Yep. Yeah, so I think we're going to do 34 through 39. Maybe through 40, but probably through 39. Yeah, because like... Um, you said something about, like... Because you're going to do, like, oh, until the end of, like, the part, but then you went, like, a little bit past yeah. that. Um, so, yeah. Uh, somewhere, like, 39, 40. Yeah. Something like that. We'll see. Um, I guess, sort of... You never expect anything <laughs> from us. You never know. 
Um, but uh, we will we will do a section. <laughs> yes, we will certainly do some chapters. Yeah, the current plan is thirty four through thirty nine. Yes, yes. All righty. So, yeah. yeah the, this has been let's talk about book. Uh, feel free to leave your thoughts, your yes. comments. On, Always love seeing comments on on any any of this stuff. Um, and uh, yeah, now now you can go forth and think about book on your own time. Mm -hmm. Have a nice whatever time it is. Have a lovely, lovely day. Yep. Bye bye. Bye.